Daybreak City Nights contains violence, drug use, and possibly other adult themes. It's not meant for kids. A ship's sail snaps sharply in the warm summer wind. The sleek hull of the single-masted cutter surges forward chasing a swift breeze, skipping and carving through the sea. The surface of the water glistens shades of rose and marigold, reflecting the light of a sun which is setting, descending towards a city.
we're close enough now that the titanic contorted shell of the city looms before us like a mountain atop this shell and within it in its walls and roof and beneath it a thousand thousand lights are glowing pink and blue and green and gold the words istitia's revenge are hand painted on the barnacled green hull of the cutter goldie where would winona be on her ship at this moment Winona would be at the helm, looking out at the city rising up for her on the horizon. It's in your hands, the weathered wood of the wheel. Mm -hmm. And of course, your crew is there with you. Runk and her husband Tags, the old human Tomlin. Mm -hmm. And Tags, the little half goblin is always the most talkative of the three of them. They seem to have a very um, intuitive understanding of one another. But Tags sort of looks back from the sail he's hauling and catches your eye. So, how long are we planning to be ashore? As long as we need to be. Fair enough. Um, should I plan a vacation? Long leave? Or are we standing by? Well, stand by for the moment. Don't disappear. And don't expect to be paid. Not making any plans, but we'll leave when we're ready. Anything the three of us should know? Something, something's brewing and you should watch your back, especially once people know that you're, you're with me. Understood. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Araxi, a lot can change in a few weeks. Twenty days ago, you ventured into the crease beneath the city after a missing member of your family. You found your cousin at a temple of what seems to be a growing cult, eventually rescued her. There may have been a few other disturbing, potentially disturbing things you learned along the way. There was a large monstrous crustacean. And the fact that uh, this cult had obtained apparently a powerful magical artifact. And there were plans that you found for something called a resurrection machine. It's probably a little bit of a whirlwind for Adaxi. Would you, as a reminder, uh, describe your character for us? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Araxi is among what is what may actually be the largest number of people in the city, but the least known, the Creaseborn, who live in the cracks and crevices of the uh, the city. Um, each creaseborn maybe looks a little different, but for Araxi, uh, the the thing that marks her as very different is uh, a few things: sharper teeth, um, flatter nose, more like slits on the face, uh, two-toned skin, um, with the front half being a lighter mauve and the back half a darker purple. Um, things that look like they might be gills on her neck um, mm. and generally dressed pretty conservatively and uh, very very focused on whatever task is at hand uh, a lot a lot did happen and a lot has been 
rolling around in her mind since the events that led to her being able to rescue her cousin Lexi. Thanks. Um, by way of thanking you, or at least trying to start to thank you for retrieving his daughter, your uncle treated you to dinner at a tavern in his neighborhood. Um, it's the same one, actually, that he had mentioned in their, his letter to you. Um, it's this unassuming but clean establishment run by a grizzled old Goliath. The proprietor has this really um, fearsome uh, first impression. Uh, he is enormous for a Goliath, um, covered in scars and tattoos. He's missing an eye. Uh, but you really quickly picked up on the fact that he needed help. Um, you almost got the impression that he has been keeping this tavern uh, running by sheer stubbornness. Um, this guy eventually introduced himself as Laz, and you saw him uh, trying to install the system of lines and taps and handles for the beer at his bar, and it was going so poorly that at some point you offered to help. Um, you have a little bit of um, wherewithal with machines, right? A little bit. Yeah. Um, 20 minutes later, he was talking you into taking a job at his tavern and uh, helping out a few nights a week um, after your job at the school for better money than you're making at the school. Um, so you can go ahead and like over the course of uh, the last two weeks, um, you know, minus room and board, add um, 50 gold to your character sheet. You're there one evening and the tavern has completely emptied out after the dinner rush. You know that in an hour or so, people might be showing up again. Um, but Laz finishes tossing the last of the dirty dishes in a tub behind the bar. And he straightens up and looks at you and says, have I ever shown you my little lookout spot? Um, I, uh, no, I, I, I don't think you have. You have a lookout spot. Yeah. Um, been going there a little more recently. Uh, do you want to see it? Um, uh, let, let me just uh, finish sweeping up here and yeah yeah I, I'd love to oh for sure no rush at all now um, this neighborhood is called Clingsley and if you imagine Daybreak City is built into the gigantic colossal corpse shell thing of a long dead god um, but it has sort of a um, amphitheater shape almost open to the sea on one side and then going back onto a closed end. If you think of uh, uh, Daybreak City as this as this room, Klingsley, Klingsley is like an upside down shipwreck stuck to the ceiling. Um, it is uh, in some places drilled into the shell and uh, woven through it, tied and lashed in all sorts of materials and jumbled architecture to make every use of the space in the city. Um, so when you walk outside, the streets are um, haphazard and in some cases are like more often bridges than roads. Uh, but it's only... Um, about two blocks sort of weaving your way in between alleyways and um, these, you know, wooden bridges and connectors that somehow still have little weeds and plants managing to cling to life and poke up between them. Um, that he um, takes you to essentially the edge of Clingsley. Um, it is a platform that has a view of the city falling away beneath you and the sea, again, sunset sparkling in front of you. Um, two people caught your eye by nature of looking like they didn't want to catch your eye. You know how uh, the, the particularly inconspicuous are sometimes very conspicuous. 
Uh, there is a human guy with a big mop of ginger hair and a really wiry knoll with a spiky mohawk in this patched denim jacket. And again, sketchy vibes, but Laz like saw them and didn't respond. He uh, instead pulls out this copper or brass like telescoping eyeglass and just starts to look out and scan. Um, and he's he's been a little bit maudlin all day. So uh, just, you know, a mood. Not super normal for him. And he's like, um, heck, I don't, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's just, you know, a huge, weird, wonderful world. It's worth getting out there and exploring if you can. I think you're somebody who could do a lot. Heck, I'm I'm grateful that I've had the chance. I mean, even if I'm taking a little easier now to see the sights, make my way all over this place. And and I think I mean, that was great for me. But you know, there are also some people that you can't help but um, worry about. And he, you see him adjust and twist this brass uh, telescope. Hang on just a second. Oh, hell. That's not good. Um, look, the, the view is really nice here. But what, what? Uh, and she kind of takes a quick glance back at, at the two that they passed. Um, are, are, are you okay? He looks back um, at where you are looking, um, and they seem to have vanished. Um he hands his telescope over to you and points at a ship with weathered black sails that's making its way into um, the large bay in front of Daybreak City and says, if I ever told you about my daughter, I guess I'd call her. Not exactly by blood, but in every other way that matters. No, I didn't know you had family well she's about all that there is and uh i sailed all over the place with her for a long long time i guess i say that just to let you know that i'd know a ship that she was piloting any time any place in a heartbeat and she's steering that one that actually fixes the the spyglass to her eye and hones in on the on this ship mm -hmm. there is something um somehow both blase and reckless about the way it moves and there's an essence that you think for a moment you can pick up on he says we used to be uh smugglers and kind of pirates to be honest a lot of stories there but uh, neither of us are anymore in, uh, in our smuggling ring. Group uh, went by the name of the Ordained Ashes. Have you heard about them in the news recently? Um, not them in particular, no. Um, there was a different group uh, that we heard about. Um, hmm. But no, no, not not them. I guess they're um, the Cavidi family's new goons for harbor control and uh, the port authorities, if you will. But I don't think she knows that. And they're going to know exactly who she is. It's not a good thing. Can I ask you an enormous favor? Of, of course. Um, if I can help in any way, please. Uh, you've done so much for me. I'm never making it down to that harbor in time to let her know what's waiting for her. I'm not fast. <laughs> my knee, my hip, my back, a dozen other reasons. 
if you can make it there, if you think you can do it, I'd be indebted to you. Uh, yeah, um, of course, is is there, um, what, what can I tell your daughter to, to let her know that the message is from you? Hmm. And, and she's already started to, uh, she slipped out the, the device she uses to uh, arm herself. Mm -hmm. and he says, sitting it on. just give her my full name. Lazanoth Stormcarver Vio Mavi. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. And Alexi just books it takes off yeah um are you running smart i am running smart you want to tell us what that means i would love to tell you what that means it means i have special armor that i've designed myself um, that uh enables me to move more quickly um so my speed is 35 instead of 30 feet um and if need be since this is a I wouldn't say a marathon, but it's a, I assume it's going to, it's a long way. Yeah. Um, is able to, uh, use some, some magic to boost her endurance in the run. Yeah. Cool. So, um, we, I think see, um, Araxi sprint away through the, uh, strange clustered neighborhood of Klingsley descending towards the harbor and um and we catch up with senna senna i know that um when we last left you you told me that you were hoping to investigate and network and uh reaffirm that there are people in the Kaviti family who are still willing to help you instead of your brother is that pretty accurate yeah that's pretty accurate yeah um, it hasn't been easy, but I will catch you up on a few things that you've figured out in the last 20 days. Okay. Um, you did get the name and description of the person who was with your father on the night he died. Um, it was a human man named Pitt. Pitt with two T's? Yes. Average height, very thin. His distinguishing feature is a mop of ginger hair. And he looks to be in his late 40s. Um, you've learned a few things about what your brother is up to. He is really eager, him and his group, to ingratiate himself with um, the city's literal upper crust the people who live um, shell top. Uh, he's doing charitable work. He's providing free security. He has even this benefit concert that he's scheduled in this huge arena venue on top of the city. It's all the things that say, I am wealthy and legitimate and am one of you. One of you, yeah. The people who've been the most receptive to you and you're the most confident in are really the people who are the most loyal to your father, Don Caraggio Caviti. Um, you've met Jurgen and Triv. Um, one other really valuable connection is uh, this halfling named Petra Dryfoot. She um, actually works inside the new Kaviti Security Coalition headquarters building, it's like a secretary, um, and has been a really valuable source of information on where they store records of their ongoing investigations. Um, and she's been able to tell you that the CSC is also very interested in Pitt. He's apparently evaded capture. At so far up to this point, um, and there are leads and rumors that they're following up with, but they seem to be in a huge hurry to find him. 
Okay, so so far I have Triv, Petra, um, and the th the the mechanic. Um, um Jurgen. 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 Yes. Jurgen. Uh, there are other people you have um, lower level, um, at least one or more people who sort of head street gangs that you think could rally to your side as like foot soldiers, okay. um, a, a small number, and and people who you can trust to run messages to different places around the city as well. Right. Other um, any any questions for me? So this. Gala, he's he's going to be holding um, to be one of the people. Mm. Um, has he been been sending out invitations for it, or um... Mm -hmm. um, it's more it's more promotional than than invitational. Um, okay. This is if you are thinking about like a a benefit concert in an arena. You're not far off. So it has actually showed up on the um, magical message boards that uh, you keep also seeing Strel's name and or not name, but I think face on. Maybe it was name and face. No, it, yeah, it was her name also. Um, yeah. And uh, and Rory from time to time. Um, <laughs> and and uh, you've noticed that over the last few weeks, there have been more and more people added to those message boards as well so that sometimes Strel's not showing up they have to like rotate them through to the point where there are now like dozens um I, the reason i ask that is because i specifically want to try to create an a message board identity and kind of create a stir of this unknown person being at this benefit tell me more about that um, I mean, I don't want to say so much as it's kind of catfishing, but <laughs> kind of trying to set up a private meeting with my brother through this catfish person. Does that make sense? It absolutely makes all the sense in the world. Um, okay. Tell me a little bit about this persona that you're creating then. Um... I guess I know my brother. He likes to talk. He likes to be the alpha. So I'm going to create this demure, um, pretty, he has a thing for tiefling girls, kind of like me. Um, and I would try to find pictures of, not Winona, <laughs> but a pretty, another pretty tiefling girl. And yeah, kind of just have this, misogynistic mindset for her where she you've would... created a persona yeah. through the male gaze yes exactly very yes. appealing yeah i i know hook line and sinker he's gonna i almost want to make you do a role for that but i don't know what it would be <laughs> for how well that goes i love would the it be, idea to be um if i had a a, a what, what is it called um an identity kit what is it it could be a forgery kit forgery if you have kit, yeah. one, or maybe just deception. Okay, I'll roll for it, why not? Did <laughs> um... it go? Oh, there we go. Roll for nice catfishing. Tea. Roll for <laughs> A dirty, dirty 20. Um you get some thirsty messages back. It, it grosses me out, but um, I, I got him. I got him right where I want him. Um, and what do you want? You want to set up a meeting um, yes. at this at this concert? Yes. Okay. It's not. Um, it's not this week. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know details, but it's it's a bit in the future. Uh, at some point, I'll pass the phone to one of my subordinates and then go, you handle this. Yeah. This. yeah. <laughs> um, I, can't. I have to disassociate. <laughs> would you... So so another thing that happened was that uh, you had set Triv up in a, essentially a safe house. I did, yep. Um, if we are looking at the city um, 
It's over uh, near the river in Luckwood. Okay. Um, pretty nice. Um, pretty quiet, relatively part of town. Not the not the most. Um, not not as nice as Shelltop. Not as uh, polished in a lot of ways, but quiet and pretty much what you want for keeping someone out of everyone's sight. Um, would you be interested in visiting Triv? Yes, actually. Um, disguised, obviously, um, mm. and not going as myself. Um, try to disguise myself as much as possible and then go and visit him. Um, it essentially is a um, like a gated retirement community is the uh the vibe that you pick up on just uh like organized activities and stuff um very uh you know pleasant but boring right um god and when you go the price you pay to, for safety yeah when, when you go to his condo I, I don't want to speak for Stacy, but I would imagine that when you see Strell there, she looks depressed and bored. Would that be fair? If you're here, Stacy? I think that would be perfectly fair. Like, more than fair. Like, if Strell is sitting in, like, some dingy old retirement home where she's just camped out she's not happy about it not in the slightest no um Trey put you in touch with um someone in Senna's group and they let you know about this and so you've been spending time with Triv who is in many ways the opposite of you he's pretty happy to be in a place like this um used to uh serve the dawn uh, as like his consigliere and um, has almost nothing to talk about in common with you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Senna, when you show up, there's Strel. Where you decided to hide? Or I had to hide more like. I mean, makes sense, Triv, but I mean, really? not like I had a choice, darling, and you know this is all your fault. I mean, I wouldn't say so much. I mean, when I said the price, you were more than willing to bite the chomp. Well, yeah, but I didn't expect to be run out of town. Fair enough. Um, what would you say if I had a new proposition for you? <laughs> it's gonna have to be a good one. It's, uh, it's fairly good, I think. It's for that stupid uh, charity concert my brother is throwing. And uh, I've been seeing your name all over the message boards for it, so it seems like you're already interested. You've seen my name on the message boards? You do yeah. know that I'm... I can't be seen in public. I uh, will get arrested. You, then it's someone else posing as you. Why what are you, you smacking? Do and what's the, and what's your price? What are you willing to pay for my help? Hmm. I have to say my price has gone up quite a bit since our last meeting. Fair enough. Oh, um, I did mean to mention, uh, Estrell. You haven't been able to work, and you've still had to pay for food and lodging um, at this place that is not necessarily cheap. So uh, you can go ahead and pop 75 gold off your sheet for me. <laughs> nice. Appreciate, appreciate you. Mm hmm. Love you, snacks. Well, I mean, we're raising money for charity, and you certainly need it. So. Oh, you're offering me charity? You're offering me charity? I don't want your dirty ass money. 
from your it's not my from your broken family. Okay, fair enough. But we're collecting it. Not it's not ours. You're gonna have to give me a little more incentive, darling. After the hell you've put me through. We we're all adults. We decided to put ourselves through that. Um, but I'll see what I can try to do about making it safer for you to return to the city. How does that, that sound? That is a little more enticing. I do miss the city. And I'd so, love to have my good name back. I don't know if I can promise a good name that was never to had to be had to begin with, but I can promise you that we can definitely return you to the city. Um, and some gold for your pocket. Before you have a chance to answer, there is another knock at the door. It's in whatever code you've set up, you know, rhythm to, to know that it's someone in your organization. I'll, I'll go check the people. Mm -hmm. There is a um, really like like a, a human in their teens um, wearing uh, the insignia of one of the um, groups that you know is loyal to you. Um, hands on their knees, completely out of breath. I'll um, I'll open it. What's going on? Uh, you're Senna. You're Senna, right? How did you find me? Yes. They said, um, you wanted to know if, uh, if uh, that ship, the one with the name, uh, was, was coming. Uh, the revenge, the something revenge is here. It's, they saw it. It's it's pulling into harbor. Thank you. Um, I'll help him up. What's that? I'll help him up. Yeah. He stands up and, and the vibe you get is... Uh, intimidated and uh just knowing you by reputation nervous to be in your presence um i i don't know much more than that they said uh go um yelzy go tell um ask around ask this person who should know and so it took me a while because i had to check with them and then they said you were here and um, they told me the name, something revenge, and I forgot. I'm so sorry. It's it's all right. I, I recognize it by revenge. Thank you. Okay. Off um, now. Oof. Can you I want some water? Oh, that would be so nice. Um, Stra love, can you get this poor boy some water? Kind of hesitantly, Strell will provide him with a with a glass and just kind of like shove it in his hands. She's still not super happy about uh, seeing Senna here. He does that He does that thing that kids do with the, like, when you give him water and it's like the two hand, like. <laughs> <laughs> like the weird loud drinking. Um, Slurp. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So I take it your lovely girlfriend is back. Yeah, it sounds like it. Wonder what she's been up to. Mm -hmm. Given your reputation's no good. <laughs> Don't know what you mean. Um, I'm actually here to visit another friend of mine. We're friends, right, Strel? <laughs> sure, we're friends. Right, well, I have someone else in... in the neighborhood that I need to see um, to, but you have my number and we'll have to coordinate um, a charity visit this upcoming week. Um, the uh, this kid whose name is apparently Yelzy. Um, looks at you and says um did um do you want us to do anything um i i think that they're due in a few minutes um just just and, and um 
gestures towards the docks. Uh, Ren, you know that um, you had that ship registered in Winona's name. Right. Um, or, you know what, I should ask this, actually, because as you entered the city, you did hear the news that the ordained ashes are providing security um, for um, the shipping, specifically the docks on this part of town. Um, and I don't know if Winona told you about her history with them or not. She she wouldn't have, no. Okay. Um, I think briefly, um, that's why I had recruited her, but not specifics. Gotcha. Um, so, I guess my question to you is, would you have simply registered it under her name or something else that you had set up? Um, probably not directly her name, no. Um, not something it would be directly tracked to her, but maybe an offshore business um, that my, my father was running that my brother wouldn't ha necessarily look, look under, like... I don't know, an Italian pizza restaurant or something. <laughs> something boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know how those pizza restaurants yeah, tend to have Yeah, and they have their boats to catch the calamari. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's just a fishing vessel. Exactly. Um, yeah. Okay. You are able to um, visit with Triv as well. Uh, seems to be relatively happy. Um you know, a little bit um, eager to find a way for Strel to leave. <laughs> uh, not uh, very politely, he insinuates that he would appreciate it if uh, he didn't have to share his living space with someone so mopey. She's not normally like that. Um... The, the environment, it, it's its done something to her. Sorry. She doesn't seem happy to be, or sorry, his, I guess I'm going to reset my voice for him. Uh, she doesn't seem happy to be able to be cooped up with me here. I mean, you're two different people she's used to a certain lifestyle and um, you are too Triv I, this is mostly for both of your safeties um, and hopefully at the charity event we can get something to where we can get your identities cleared and you can come back to the city or at least if not cleared then I can give you a new one and you can live wherever you want not here where there's literally nothing to do. Just stare at the Don't water. actually mind it here all that much. It's just... Um, really? Hmm. Well, I appreciate that a lot. Yes, of course. You... I'm loyal to loyalty. I'm loyal to friends. And... That's one thing friend. that differentiates you from your brother. Yeah. Do you think you'll meet this Winona? I have a feeling we'll cross paths again. He kind of looks at you with a little a twinkle in his eye okay. and says, if I was a younger man in your situation, I guess a young lady, I would be meeting that person on the shore. I, I, I suppose courtesy goes a long way. You're right, Triv. <clears throat> Some people think that a gesture is uh, pointless or trite. I found people appreciate them. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take, yeah, I think you're right. I think having manners is, is a good thing. So, um, 
I'll I'll see you later, and um, we'll we'll talk about identity crisis issues um later later. Yeah. He um hands you a uh, a glass of bourbon on the rocks that he just poured. Thank you. <laughs> down the hatch. Yeah, down down the hatch. Um, a little nervous. A little. Sure. The uh, the docks are here, or I'm sorry, they're they're, they're more over over here, um, and so it's a pretty short walk for you. Um, they're it's it's uh, evening. Um, they're not as teeming with activity as they would be during the day, um, but there are plenty of people sort of milling around. Um, on your way there, and and certainly at the docks, there are still people who will be there all night. You know, um, logistics and shipping and security and everything like that. Um, Araxi, you arrived at the docks just as this ship was beginning to approach alongside a long pier. What would you be doing while the crew apparently starts to make the ship secure and uh, attached to the pier and everything? Uh, as as unobtrusively as, as possible. In, in fact, uh, uh, as, as unobtrusively as possible in, in this, this um, armor, actually, uh, it... it she's going to try to like i don't know if it's if it's if there's a clear shot along the dock or if it looks like maybe she can swim under the dock and and try to get onto the ship to find this this person okay um you are probably well, i don't know how 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 what kind of a swimmer are you How much water is in the crease? <laughs> That's a good question. I think there are uh, rivers and uh, aquifers to be found. Um, then I, I think uh, Araxi knows knows how to swim. Maybe doesn't get a lot of opportunity, but um, especially with uh, the other crease born, um, water just seems a little more comfortable. Let me move you, if I can, just for the sake of visualization. Make sure that you can all see, um, just to sort of get the idea of where we are. Um, so you are trying to make your way as unobtrusively as possible, um, I suppose, to the far side of this little cutter mm -hmm. and, and make your way on board. Um, Give me, I suppose, a stealth check. Okay. Um, the uh, hmm. it uh, should be um, with no advantage or disadvantage. Okay. The, the armor I have cancels out disadvantage. Gotcha. Do you want to maybe just roll it again without? Um, if there's a I, way to do that, or does it I in that it automatically happen? Oh, okay, so we'll just take the first one then. So pretty good. Um, I do think Senna, because your focus as you walk up to the docks is squarely on Estitia's revenge, that you catch some motion clambering up and um it's not a big enough ship winona uh that you could miss the fact that um somebody is boarding you essentially before uh anyone from the port authority or anything like that is uh is able to approach someone's getting on my ship Uh, Roxy, you, um, yeah, can can make your way. Are you are you just peeking your head over the side or climbing aboard? Um, 
this oh. is um, <laughs> just just to give you sort of a layout rather than picturing um, some very large pirate ship or anything like that. It is like a 35 foot long, relatively narrow uh, cutter, you know, one mast with three sails. And um, some of that length is just, uh, you know, like the bowsprit, bowsprit, I don't know how you pronounce it, off the front. Uh, so just just to give a little context there. Uh, actually sort of rolls over the side of the ship and, and is still low to try, theoretically in her mind, a little sneaky, but like just looking around trying to find uh, the person that she saw through the spyglass. So I would definitely notice the stranger climbing on board my ship, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Who the hell are you and what do you think you're doing? Oh, um, I have a, I have a message from, from your father, um, Lazanoth Storm Carver Vianavi, I think. Uh, wanted me to come down and let you know that um, the the port authorities is now like people who check people in on the port is it's the Kaviti family. Thought there might be trouble. Wanted me to come down and let you know. Sorry, it's a long did way he, down. Did he say which part of the Kaviti family? Uh, um. I maybe I don't I'm I'm sorry I don't I don't remember it it was uh, it was a lot uh, all of a sudden. Shit. Does, is there's more than one part? You've got a lot to learn about the city, don't you? Um, you um, may specifically remember that uh, the group Laz mentioned were the ordained ashes. Uh, he, he he did mention another group. I I don't know if this is part of the Kaviti family, but he said something about the ordained ashes. Great. Fantastic. Um, that, that, that's, that's all I, that's all I know. Yes. Who are you? Um, I, I work, I work at your dad's inn. Um, I help. He's not my dad. I don't have a dad. Um, um, I, I, I work for, for Mr. Lazanoff, um, then, I guess. Mm-hmm. Just fixing things up, uh, cleaning, washing the tables. I... I think Winona would insight that. Go ahead. Yeah, trying to get a measure uh, of this mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. She does have a, you know, physically an interesting appearance with the violet skin oh. and um, some of those features. Uh, yeah, Dinsdale, you know, is there anything that she can read from your face or, or sort of tell? Yeah, um, the, uh, the, well, <laughs> there's, there, there may be something more going on considering that are actually clambered aboard in some kind of armor that has now all but disappeared. Um, but she seems to you um, earnest, but also very confused. And hmm. is, is kind of looking around at the ship like she's never been on one. You clearly don't know what's going on here, do you? Um, I, no, no I, I was just doing a favor for your, um, for Mr. Lazanoff. Kaviti, ordained ashens, this, this means nothing to you. Uh, should it? I guess it's a good thing if it doesn't. Well, if they're, <laughs> well, if they're, they're the port authority now, we need to get the hell out of here right now. Um, Senna, there are three people who have now um, walked along the shore. You saw them approaching, and they are going to um, walk down the pier towards this ship that's now uh, pretty fairly well um, tied and, and made fast against the pier. Um, there is, uh, they have uniforms, the navy blue, 
um, CSC uniforms that you've seen. Um, the guy in front has a big clipboard. He's an old looking dwarf with like big mutton chops and uh, doesn't really seem to notice you much, but it goes to walk down the pier. And I want to draw the attention um, away from the ship. Um, shark! Shark! Do we hear this? Uh, I don't think that it would be hard to hear. So, yeah, you're you're not terribly far away from the shore. Uh, uh actually, immediately is looking over the side of the ship. <laughs> my my foot is stuck. The shark's going to bite it off. Someone help! The three Roll of you. performance. Yeah, the three of you lot, help me. You. That, I could have sworn that sounded like Senna. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> she wouldn't make a spectacle of herself like this, though. So that doesn't make any sense at all. Um, <laughs> As my voice is cracking um, and... Uh, Help! <laughs> this, uh... Dwarf with the clipboard does look at you. They all do. And pause for a second. Um, and then he turns to one of the um, sort of larger... The other guys give the vibe of, like, an enforcer or something like that, and he's like, the city's going to shit. These people need help, and it's sad to see. And and just walks down the pier. Um, no, really, my foot is stuck, please! You both can see Senna if you look at the shore, and also these three people approaching down the pier. Oh my god. I'll motion to them. Um, she came in over the boat. I guess that's how we're fucking leaving. Yeah, yeah let's uh let's go. And and you see this armor rematerialize over uh, over her as she like hops over the edge. Um Um yeah. When I'm jumping over the edge. Uh as as your moving to do that um tags uh looks at you and just raises his, his eyebrows like what do you want us to do yeah anything you want to say as you're abandoning ship stay down hide do a better job hiding than you did when i found you okay um and they all clamber below decks um go ahead and um you know i want to do this as a skills challenge. Oh, good. Are you familiar? Uh, in yeah. case anybody maybe doesn't know how that works, because um, it's a little bit different from uh, from other tabletop RPGs, a skills challenge works like this. Um, I'll give you a goal, and you can tell me which of your skills you want to use to pursue it. Uh, if you can get three successes before you get three failures, uh, things will go better. And I guess it's sort of more just like the ratio of successes and failures. But I'm going to have you tell me which of your skills we're going to check. And depending how on how plausible uh, those are and, and the description, that will sort of set the difficulty rating. So a few things that you would know. Um, one would be that the... Um, Vismond Square Night Market is only a few streets north of you. And it is, if you were going to tailor make a place to lose somebody, it would be there. Uh, yeah. It is always busy, always chaotic. It's a place where, I mean, some shipping comes to shore with a destination, but a lot of it just shows up at the city and goes to auction for someone to buy it. And those happen 24 seven. There are also people who have permanent stores or temporary tents or stalls where they sell all sorts of things, both to the sailors who are here and the people who come in from out of town to buy goods. It is hectic at all times. There will be performers, uh, jugglers, just, it is essentially the perfect place to lose a person. Um, that is, going to be you know a few streets to the north if you can make it in between 
the um, dock buildings and things like that. Uh, there are going to be people um, on shore, and it's not immediately obvious if they are security or not. And um, as you know, it's not always easy to jump off a boat in a stealthy way. So with that in place, would anybody like to volunteer to go first and let me know which skill they're going to use in this scenario? My one question is if this is for our entire escape or just jumping off the boat and getting away stealthily. Like... I understand. Um, If you make it to the markets, you will have succeeded. Okay, because I would basically get Araxi to take me wherever they're trying to go. Um, And then as soon as we get on land, I would be dragging her to the night market and uh, trying to get Senna's attention somehow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Thing. Um, you're, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be as strict either. You know, you guys are allowed to attack people, you know, sort of. I encourage any sort of creative uh, lateral thinking or shenanigans you want to pull. Mm-hmm. And, and again, if you have further questions about the lay of the land here, feel free to ask. Hmm. Senna, would we have gone to the night market together? I think so. Where do you think we would have gone? Um, good question. Um, there are, I imagine... Probably a back alley. <laughs> All right. Fair. Some of the best food is there exactly. too. You know, you'll have people who just yeah, have like a, a basically like a you know big hot like griddle making awesome like uh, pineapple and shrimp tacos and a bunch yeah. of really good seasoning I would have and shown stuff. Her, yeah, the best maybe maybe like dumpling house or something Ooh. in the city. Steamed buns. Yeah, steamed buns. Yeah. Mm. Before and after. <laughs> um, I was about to say you beat me to it. I can't help it. <laughs> so as I'm jumping off the ship, I would try to catch Sana's eye and say, alleyway. And because I'm not saying any name of any particular place that we're going. Mm. And then, as before, following Araxi wherever she's going to get us to wherever they were slipping into the water from. And then, uh, yeah. Trying to sneak away to that alleyway near the dumpling house. Then you have, uh, you looked like you were about to ask or say something. Yeah, I, I did think of something that mm. Araxi would do, but not yet. Okay. So to start, it's just into the water and again, trying to go back under uh, the way that she came. Sure. Um, I think probably we would kick things off with a stealth check to just see, and I'm, you know, I'm not going to count this in terms of like successes or failures necessarily, just to sort of see how, uh, much of their attention you might catch. Cause this is kind of loud here and there's a chance that you could get into the water without these three people who are approaching the ship noticing you. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have self checks from both of you if that's all right. But then after that, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna is leave it up to the, you. Is this the three success, three failure test? No, because I'm I'm asking one? you to make this um, rather than you telling me which skills uh, you're right. using. Stealth. Oh God. You said right. Yes, please. And this should be fixed. It's still doing it. It's a ten. Okay. Yeah, we'll just take the left one if it's giving you disadvantage when we are. Yes, it's normally. because the armor is considered heavy armor, but the and armor it has automatically an ability, applies it. The armor has an ability that it, it, it gives advantage or cancels out disadvantage. Okay. Um, excellent. If you 
Ren, if you have ideas for things you want to do, you're also able to um, use skills to help out here because I think you know what they're trying to do. Um, if there's anything you can think of to do to the sh from the shore to aid, you're certainly welcome to. But um, so as you jump in the water, there are absolutely um, shouts from these three people um, saying like overboard and actually one of the bigger ones completely distracted and almost like with um, dog instincts just dives into the water after you. Just in direct pursuit. Uh, the guy with the clipboard yells at him, he's like, what are you doing? Um, but yeah. All right. So we are being actively pursued right now. Yeah, I'll give you places on the map if you're curious. I am. Let me do that. Let me do that. That will help. Solo uno momentito. That's the wrong thing for me. Oh, balls. <laughs> One moment, please. I've wrecked roll 20 entirely for myself. Beautiful. Good job. Uh, yeah. I'm good at this stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold, oh, please. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> oh my god, I accept being an asshole. And hot. Uh, yeah, exactly. I just... Yeah, Oops. I'm gonna show a little ankle. Um... Uh, I think you're... You were here, uh, shouting about sharks. I you was. guys have jumped off. Maybe I'll, I'll recite to them the ship. history of sharks, and it'll 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 scare them enough to help. A I'm sure the DC for that will be so low. It'll be really easy. Very okay. Easy. Very plausible. Did you know <laughs> that GM tips don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> um. I think I'll, my best thing is persuading, so I think I'll try to persuade them okay. to, to come help me. No, they don't believe I need help. I'll make them they want to help me anyway. Fair. Um, yeah, so go ahead and uh, if, if you'd like to sort of draw their attention onto you and try to convince them that you are more important than what's going on uh, at their job, uh, roll persuasion. Yeah. I'm going to write down a DC. How your feel that you've neglected a poor woman standing on a dock requesting for your help? And then I will roll persuasion. I wrote down 17. Oh. <laughs> uh, well done. Uh, hey, dice. Against all of the odds, um, you you get um, you get their attention, and and uh, this fellow here starts to take uh, steps towards he. he looks back at his boss the guy with the dwarf with the clipboard and he's like i mean you guys got that right and she looks like she maybe um needs my help and i'm pretty strong so i was gonna show her that i'm strong and uh, i'm gonna I, for my performance i would have pretended my foot was stuck in the, oh yeah you know it's relatively convincing and, and he's he's gonna walk up and and start trying to sort of assist you and he's like are you are you, are you okay is you hurt or I, I, I'm, I'm fine i just i keep seeing a dorsal fin swimming around and um i and i'm, I'm stuck clearly i mean and it, the three of you lot you just you walk past me you ignore me i've been calling out to you this whole time and what the the, the bloody empty boat's more important than me I mean, it's just our job, though. I, I, I think that, you know... I think know, your job is to protect people, is it not? Ultimately, I, I suppose there's a level of yes in that. I want to speak to your manager. He's over there. Well, go get him, please. Thank okay. you. He turns around. Uh... <laughs> Winona and Roxy, <laughs> what are you guys yeah. up to while this is going on? That's so good. <laughs> While uh, Senna is going... Passed your Karen check. Sicko Karen mode. 
She's not usually like this. <laughs> I am when I need to be. <laughs> um, yeah, Aroxy is going to kind of um, gesture toward the the uh, the stock over here, um, and say maybe we can climb up on the other side of that, and we'll be faster on land. All right. All right. Do I recognize any of the people? Any um, of the the three that are on the docks, and especially the third one pursuing us? You, uh, I don't think would. Okay. In this case, um, so hmm. if I've been recognized, I'm not sure. I don't know. Right. Correct. Cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's go. In terms of, uh, yeah, other, um, skill checks or anything like that, like, if you have spells that you want to cast or anything like that, too, that can also be a part of this. Soon PM. Um, this is the first non-caster character I've ever played, so, <laughs> no. Ooh, actually, hang on. Unless someone hits me. Um, I'm going to, like, as we jump in... Aroxy oh. reaches Sorry. over to um, Winona and says, um, "I, I can, I can get away more easily here." And casts Long Strider on Winona, so your speed is increased by ten feet. Um, Excellent for an hour. Ooh, uh, that's actually, rad. No, yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. what she does. Terrific. Um, um, you feel that spell take effect. Go ahead. Excellent. I am going to, if I may, I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy behind the third guy um, on the area of the dock. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to make it sound like wood splintering and breaking. Okay. Thaumaturgy, yep. Uh, any um, instantaneous sound? Uh, that I, is... want, I want it to sound like the dock is snapping and falling. Excellent. Okay. Um, I'll say this. That absolutely happens. Uh, and I'm going to roll his own um, sort of insight to see if he is duped by just that sound. Um, and then um, based on those spells, if either of you wants to um, do like an athletics check, uh, I'll let you know that the DC for that, because of all of these um, sort of considerations and spells, will be pretty low. Can it be acrobatics? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's sure. probably better. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yes. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Um, that's absolutely... So you guys have two successes at this point. And, um, yeah, you've caused uh, the people who are immediately in your vicinity all sorts of confusion and other considerations. Um, I think catching on... Uh, to what you're up to uh, is, is becoming more and more difficult as they just have a, an innumerable amount of distractions suddenly um, and and you definitely are able to make it onto the dock um, before they and, and they sort of lose you for a moment um, and just start running back uh, this direction to try to um, figure out where you are um while this is happening son of the guy you were talking to uh is 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 trying to convince his boss he's like she wants to speak to you and i think we're going to be in super big trouble um because we were supposed to protect people and that's really our job he doesn't seem super convinced by his employee but any other uh what, what else you guys up to I'm going to play up the, the cracking sound of the dock that I heard, and I'm going to scream when I hear it, and I'm going to say, get me off this bloody thing! 
Okay. <laughs> and hopefully, you know, that stirs a bit more panic in the the clipboard man um, to act. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, the guy who came over earlier is going to try to like pick you up, like uh, one of these, you know, oh. carries. I, okay. I don't know if you're letting him or not, but he's that's. It's all right. <laughs> I mean. If it, it distracts him further, why not? Yeah. So you find yourself scooped up by this guy. Um, he's, he's a very uh, just sort of burly human guy in this um, CSC uniform. I'm on the shoulder. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, and, and there's a sort of a cacophony of um, the one uh, sort of leader dwarf guy with the clipboard is is both trying to scold this dude because what is he doing uh and get someone else's attention um to sort of uh you know bring help uh from other places in the dock um not as part of this uh could i get a perception check winona yes Don't worry about it. I'm so um, very worried about it. Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, as you guys reach uh, the shore here, um, are there any skills that you want to try to use? Um, me, no. But I'm I'm sprinting and dragging Araxi at this point. Um, yeah, you're a little bit faster at this point. Mm -hmm. um, Araxi kind of turns and looks and says, whoa, whoa, just a second, and uh, is going to sort of get a little low and take aim at, like, pulls up pulls up a, a gauntleted hand and sort of sit, takes aim at this other large ship, but like the, the back end of it. Okay, over and, here. And yeah. Yeah, um, maybe like a, a, a mast or something, or well, something that's sticking up. Sure. And is going to um, use the her her armor's lightning launcher to to fire a bolt of electricity at it to try to uh, cause a, a bit more distraction in a different direction. Okay. Do you want to use maybe your Arcana skill check for that, or are you uh, just? It's an attack. It's it's okay. actually an attack. Uh, if you'd like me to use Arcana, I will, or it's the same bonus either way. It's plus five. Okay. Uh, no. Good. Yeah. Go ahead for your your attack roll. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, so uh, this um, these three had had managed to um, alert other people on the docks and um as you guys are moving in this direction you are sort of able to surmise that there are um some people who are are sort of responding wearing the same uniforms who, who might be in your way uh but as soon as a large like frigate ship has its mast sparkle with electricity and then catch on fire, like climbing towards the um, pinned sails and everything, uh, they are utterly distracted and you are able to duck past them out of sight um, around the corner of this building. Leaving Crazy. really only um, Senna in the arms of an angel. Of an angel. Like that? No. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So and with a group of people sort of starting to assemble on this dock and try and figure out what the heck is going on. I think I'm going to do a grand finale. Hmm. And I'm going to try to tip both of us over into the water. Um, try to cause more chaos and distraction. <laughs> As I probably see them trying to get away from four and six. Four and six. Excellent. Um, 
Do you want to suggest, or do you want me to suggest a skill to roll for that? Um, please suggest. I was going to use athletics, but I don't have much strength. I, I do think athletics is probably, uh, probably the appropriate one for that. Unless, okay. unless there is some sort of acrobatic maneuver that you can describe to me in order to pull this off. Um, maybe. Yeah, from where, how he's holding me, maybe yeah. I would try to, um, like, concave my body upward, okay. and then yeah. try to, like, you know, use some of my centrifugal force to, like... You're trying to, like, back somersault yeah, out yeah. of his arms, and yeah. then drag him with you as you fall? Yes. I mean, that could be acrobatics. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Nothing contortion. Let's let the fate decide. Okay. I mean, describe the scene <laughs> to me, please. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna, while he's carrying me, I'm gonna see them and my eyes are gonna go wide and I'm gonna, oh shit. Um, and then um, I'll look at him and I go, sorry. And then I'm just gonna try to like wiggle out of his arm and then like use, as much as my body force as I possibly can to like get a little bit out of his arm and then push uh -huh. him over with me and we're both gonna fall. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, with your 19 in acrobatics, you're absolutely um, okay. careening off of the dock here into the water with a unmissably large double splash. I think he sort of uh, lands on top of you. Oh! And it's <laughs> it's a mess, a tangled, and this finally gets um, uh, everyone's attention to where uh, they are now berating the guy who tried to carry you. Um, assuming that it was entirely his fault that he would have like picked you up and essentially dropped you in the water. Um, they seem incredibly worried about you telling on them to someone. Yeah, they're incompetent. I mean, really. First they don't seem me. to recognize you as who you are, I, fortunately. I don't, I don't want them to recognize me. I want them to think I'm posh, but I don't yeah. want them to recognize me because I don't want them to think why would Senna be in this area right so I'm trying I've hopefully with me being covered in muck water mu mascara running mm -hmm. it'd be hard to recognize oh. me anyway you're normally very put together right. right right so that's what I'm hoping and then as much as I complain hopefully you know I think that eventually it will be just a relief to them that you leave without telling on them. Uh, and you're able to, after I, a I few, yeah. yeah, a few minutes of uh, sort of berating them to just slip away and they almost are thanking you for it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nearly everything else almost forgotten for now, although they will still be um, boarding the ship. And I think that we will sort of fade to black on the scene of you leaving a like trail of puddles as you... <laughs> perfect as you wander into uh, Visman Square. And I think we'll take our break there. Uh, five, 10 minutes um, for us to catch our breath, grab a snack. Everyone uh, who, thank you for joining us. Um, we'd love to ask you to also, you know, look at something far away, stretch your moosles get your own beverage and uh, we shall be back shortly I believe we may I'm not making any promises have trailer to show you we'll see Another? stay tuned Ooh. Ooh. take your meds if you haven't
so as mentioned Visman Square is chaotic um as you sort of uh as quickly and surreptitiously as possible um slip through the crowd sometimes you're pushing your way through people sometimes uh, you're just making your way through this maze of of tents and shops that sells anything and everything you are past um you know food from all over the world um new technology is even sold there there's uh this popular thing um they're calling it like a flash box but it essentially is this really uh intricate sort of cube thing that can reproduce an image and like print it out on a little um, thing that you have to shake and then it shows up uh whatever you saw um which is just you know an incredible advancement of technology i have a great name for it i think it'll sell billions as long as it's not cop copyrighted <laughs> um but uh this um this dumpling uh restaurant do you remember the name of it or should i remember um, the name of it we'll call it like yeah north dumpling or something or yeah north yeah. dumpling um yeah. and it's one of those places that uh you know has good food because the outside looks so bad like it has this really faded plain sign and it has one of the things where, like the menu is pasted in the window um and you do manage to you know winona and araxi you get there first but it's only like a minute and a half later when the um sloshing <laughs> um <laughs> what saturated uh senna in, in much more disarray than I think you've seen her normally. Um, yeah, I guess all of you actually are just sopping wet. Uh, and and you all uh, find each other behind um, North Dumpling. <sighs> huh. Hi. Hello. Sana. Hello. Who's this? That's a fantastic question. Oh, well, nice to meet you, acquaintance, Miss. Did you say no, your no. name? No, no, um, okay. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm I'm Araxi. Uh, yeah. Oh, Araxi. Right. And you two don't know each other. Um, no, Araxi uh, jumped on the side of my ship when I arrived. Shortly before Senna Kaviti made an, a whole ass of herself on the pier, screaming shark on dry land. Um, Kaviti? The one in the <laughs> How do you do? Oh. What? Listen, what they, they, this? I, I, I thought we were in danger. I, I, I didn't know what else. Do you? There really. Um, I uh, I appreciate the gesture, though. Good. Um, because I, you know, fell into the ocean for you, so I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the wet hair gave it away, right? <laughs> you still look absolutely beautiful, Sana. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh, Roxy, anyway. you're pretty sure you didn't miss here and, and and are confident that you were told that the Kaviti were essentially the mafia. Yeah, yeah. Um, Winona, why don't why, you want to, let's grab a, a, a dumpling and, uh, aren't the Kaviti um, Roxy, this is our place. If anyone's grabbing a dumpling with Winona, it's me. Oh, um, yes, of course. Hmm. <laughs> I think we can all grab a dumpling and maybe we should head back to Silas. I don't think we should be sticking around here, but it was nice to revisit our alleyway, Senna. I agree. Um, might need to grab a, a Strel. Um, found her in um, Luckwood, so. Luckwood? 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Has I really gone that long? Uh, quite a bit, actually. Um, <laughs> and I think we all need to talk about something yeah. happening very soon. Loud and clear. Okay. Let's go get those dumplings and, uh, Araxa, you can unshit your pants for a second. Sound is fine. Uh, um, yeah. I, I, I guess this is what you meant by, uh, di different parts of the family. Yeah. She's... She's with us. Uh, um, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, no it's pleasure, quite right. Susanna. Nice to meet you, Roxy. I'll, I'll, um, reach out my hand to shake hers. She, she kind of tentatively sort of reaches out and, and, and gives it a, sh a shake. Um, I, uh, I, I actually, uh, <laughs> it seems like there's a lot I, I don't really know. I just sort of was, uh, was sent by, um, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Lazanoff, uh, who seems to be uh, okay. an acquaintance. Do I know Lazanoff? You, you know Laz. Yeah, I think had sort of your huddle before your um, uh, island raid uh, at his tavern, actually. That's where you met with uh, Aelin and uh, Strel. Um, yeah. Thank you. Really? Apparently, uh, she works for him now, which is interesting. Oh? Yeah, he uh, he has a, a really nice, uh, really nice inn. Um, I yeah, but he does. Doesn't doesn't know much about uh, uh, tools, but that's that's okay. That's no. why he uh, why he hired me. Not very handy he is. Um, um, okay. Are you guys maybe sort of moving this conversation indoors? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. and so I think at this point you're uh, you've ordered waiting for your food. Um, I um, this is really more for flavor text, but I think I would have just I do insight checks on everyone. Um, yeah. How does Araxi appear? More fearful, nervous? Why? I'd say. To your eye, to your practiced eye, um, she's nervous but not afraid. It's okay. more she doesn't know what's going on and she recognizes that she's out of her depth uh, and doesn't, okay. isn't like comfortable with that, but also isn't going to, to back away from it. Okay. Okay. I actually am going to also ask for insight checks from uh, Ren and Dins. Senna and Araxi, I should say. Oh, it's right. I think um, as they're doing that, as they're walking to the dumpling place, um, mm -hmm. Winona probably would have snaked a hand around Senna's waist as they were walking. Acting like she was never gone at all. Um. So, um, uh, unless you had something. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. You guys can make your way inside. You're seated at this point. Um, Give that a little skip ahead a couple minutes, you know. So, um, when... When, uh... Um, Mr. Lazanoff asked me to, to come down, it seems like he... he I feel like he must have some kind of... of uh, he seems to have more than just me working for him. I guess, uh... I guess I... Shouldn't be a surprise now, but um, a couple of people keeping uh, keeping an eye on on his little little lookout spot where uh, where uh, actually he, he showed me where who you were, um, Fenona. He, he saw your ship from up there, but he must have had uh, gotten word from his uh, his. I guess I don't know. Maybe he had hired a couple people to keep an eye out for your ship. Um, I, mean, I don't know if you know them. One was, uh, I don't know if there was, there was, uh, someone with just really, I don't know, it was weird, like really orange hair. Um, and then there was another, another, uh, big, big guy with, uh, I, I don't actually know what, what, what 
he was. Wait. He wasn't a human. He was like uh, he said orange hair. Yeah, yeah. Was he pretty thin? Um, average height, yeah. yeah. human. Kind of normal, just yeah. Other than the orange hair, kind of look just basically like any other humans. I know this human. Uh. His name's Pit. And he's working for Laz. No. Is this... no? He... Uh, he was my, for, my father's bodyguard. Oh. Um, uh, <sighs> Winona, do you think maybe Mr. Lazanoth is, is, in, is in danger? Oh, I'm not going to stay here. We need to get back to... Is he still um, in the same place? Um, where was he before? <sighs> At his stupid bar. Yeah. It looks like it's been there a while, yeah. Good, okay. He's the kind of person that needs to pack up and ditch sometimes, so... Okay. We need to go now. Take um, your dumplings. Yeah, uh, Alexi definitely scoops up whatever dumplings are left. Um, yeah, whatever she can't shove in her mouth, she shoves in a pocket. And uh, Winona just like I'll save stands up and too. storms out the door. Um, your uh, those insight checks you rolled. Um, you notice the look both of you on. Uh, Winona's face Winona as your blood turns to ice and your stomach clenches across the down the street and sort of across the square with maybe hundreds of people in between you not looking your direction but talking with someone in a navy uniform is a drow a dark elf um he's wearing a all white suit carrying uh what looks like a parasol his hair is or his skin is is blue violet and his silver hair is slicked back and um you are unable to keep a straight face uh Araxi and Senna, you both see Winona see something. Just to clarify, I may have misunderstood. Did Winona, like, leaving before us, was she in conversation with this person? Or just no, no, no. spotted? Um, yeah, just oh, okay. sees him, you know, pretty far away. Is he looking at us? No. Uh Shall we, Winona? Seeing this person across the square, Senna would, not Senna, Winona would have frozen in her tracks for a moment and her entire body would have seized up. And if you could see her face, would have been a mixture of pure, unbridled anger, but also fear and hate rolling off of her. And so she stutters in her step as she freezes and then she ducks her head and keeps walking before the stranger has a chance to turn around. Uh, I, I think with me touching would have definitely noticed the stutter in her step and um, just been there to have, to be holding her hand. <laughs> You're right. We have, we have to get back. All right. 
sorry, love, but if that guy was your bodyguard, he wasn't doing a very good job, and I don't like that he's around Laz right now. <laughs> I don't think he ever intended to do his job for my father. There are new people here, Senna. I look back at the, the person that seemed to have crossed our path. In the moments between you sort of chatting and checking with each other, they've disappeared into the crowd. Mr. They were always pretty good at that. Of course. Hang on. Keep moving. Okay. Who was I that? So I'll ask, are you going straight to the salty sail? I'm going straight there. Excellent. Um, it'll take, you know, I think it takes about 45 minutes to make your way to that part of the city if you're not running with magic armor. Um, but you're able to make it there without a further incident. Um, it is night. Uh, the sun has been set for half an hour at this point completely um but uh there are a few people in the tavern uh, just probably regulars uh Araxi, that you may have met before and laz is um behind the bar when you come in through the open front door he freezes uh and and just the beer that he's pouring uh just like starts to overflow his uh, cup as he looks at you Knock, knock. He, um, like, almost throws it, just, like, sets it down in front of the person who ordered it, and it splashes all over them, and he, um, still sort of limping, makes his way around the bar, and people, like, part for him. Like, you know, uh, they just scramble to get out of his way. I think one chair goes flying. But, um, he approaches you and just pulls you into his chest and squeezes you um, against him. You know, his arms are all the way around you. Um, and you see, uh, you know, the white, one of those white curls just sort of disappear into his arms. Um, and he's like, I'm going to murder you. Mm, I'd never done any other way, big guy. He sort of holds you out at arm's length. Um, almost accidentally picking you up like you're sort of on your toes um and he says i'm so glad you made it araxi <sighs> thank you i didn't i didn't know if you knew who would be at the docks and if if they'd be looking for you i i just had in my mind these ideas that you know you were still burned and they were you know on site <laughs> <laughs> uh well i wouldn't say i'm back in their good graces uh wasn't exactly a smooth trip back yeah you're all actually damp yeah you all right aroxy uh and you're senna how did you yes i am um Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm so great. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I made it, Mr. Lazanoth. Um, we, we did have to uh, um, go over the side of the, the ship to uh, uh, just, you know, not bump into anyone that mm. um, you didn't want us to bump into. Um, but yeah, I'm, everything's all right. He, he know. looks at, uh, when I was like, the old, the old last resort. Yep. Well, I suppose you'll need to find a way to get in touch with your ship again, then. Yeah, I mean, if the crew's still alive anyway, they could be in prison by now. Hell if I know. Mm. Told them to hide. But it's it's a cutter, Laz. Like it's there's barely right. enough room for us. Well. You never know, you know. You can't plan for 
reality. We, we both know that so many jobs gone so sideways in ways you'd never expect. And, you know, sometimes they go better than you expect. We'll, we'll find out. If, if I can help, I will. Guys, um, he's here. Looks at you. You see, um, he sort of, uh, without realizing that he's doing it, is is like cracking his knuckles. Oh well, bad news comes in threes, doesn't it? <laughs> is it only three? He counts for three on his own. Agree then. You're gonna. You're gonna see him again, aren't you? Who is he? He is the reason I'm burned, Senna. You asked who. You asked me a while ago who would be stupid enough to lose my services and. That who is the ordained ashes and why is because of a certain shithead who seems to have come to Daybreak City for God knows what reason. Why? Why here? <sighs> I don't know if you, I, did, I didn't tell you because I didn't think you would have wanted to know. I I heard through the grapevine that he runs the ashes now. What? Top of, top of the pile. The whole organization's his. He's done one well for himself. Everybody I mean. who outranked him has left or disappeared. No shit. I thought maybe if you never heard, you'd be happier. I, I, I hoped it wouldn't matter. Sorry for not telling you sooner. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Can I get you anything to eat, drink? You look like yes. you could use a warm towel. Could we possibly um, get a, a, do you have a, a room that we could Oh, we've got a couple. Um, Araxi, he's actually set aside a room uh, for you to sort of, um, it, it is the smallest that he has upstairs, but uh, he's sort of lent that to you as a, however permanent a residence you want it to be while you're working for him. Um, and uh, he um, very pointedly and awkwardly says, we have, uh, two rooms for the two of you and gives you two uh, keys. So are we supposed to talk through the wall? Oh, I, just, I mean, I, you know, if you're staying uh, overnight, you'll need mm. your own... Um, uh, of course. Actually, I don't know. Um, I was hoping I could message uh, Strel about... Um, us being here, and if we could possibly, if we could have one of my contacts try to smuggle her to the tavern. You're able to do that. Okay. Glad uh, Strella's uh, still alive anyway. <laughs> if you call what she's living a life, then sure, yeah, she's alive. Um, she's not quite happy these days. That's... I've been keeping tabs on her. And um, she's kind of, quite frankly, lost her shit. So um, <laughs> we have to get her back into the city. All right. Well, we do have two rooms after all. And we do. I guess we'll just have to share one. Laz uh, very pointedly turns around and goes back to trying to serve customers. <laughs> Uh, Alexi's quietly moved off. Like, when they arrived, had started to, like, 
you know, see someone who needs a refill on that on that sort of thing. And and when uh, Lazanoth uh, mentions the rooms, uh, goes upstairs to prepare them. Oh, excellent. Um, I think we'll skip ahead, if that's okay, to when Stral arrives. Yeah, absolutely. Um, escorted, I think, again by Yelzy. Uh, this, this, you know, this, this sort of teenage punk kid, uh, who, um, yeah, I think, are you disguised, baby? Oh, hundred percent. Um, Strel is definitely, she's got her disguise kit with her. She, yeah. like, she may have tried to, you know, adjust some of her features, make her nose smaller, give her a stronger jawline, mm. try to, you know, she would have tried to like wear something to hide her hair, but it's kind of hard. Um, she would have done her best to, to be in disguise. She's still like upset. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know where, where where would you guys be when when Strel shows up? Um, I'd imagine we'd be at a table, and I would have said that uh, I'll explain more when uh, when Strel arrives, because it's not mm -hmm. it's not a story I'd like to tell more than once. No matter how many times you tell him that you've had dumplings, uh, you can't get Laz not to bring you bread and soup. I think at some point I would get up and help him carry stuff out. And mm -hmm. at some point when I follow him back to the to the kitchen, um, I would just pull him in for, well, I wouldn't pull him, but I guess I would just walk into him for a, a long hug. It's good to have you back. I'm uh, so grateful for Aroxy. I, she's an incredible help around here. I, this place, I mean, it's better than it used to be, but my hair was falling out taking care of it. I'm Your sorry, hair. I'm rambling uh, about myself. You don't Is he exactly. bald? Yeah. Yeah. So he, he, he does like run his hair, hand over and he's like, it's a figure of speech. Mm -hmm. My beard hair, maybe. Uh -huh. He like yanks one out. See? <laughs> Did you tell Roxy that you're my dad? Uh, um, <clears throat> I may have uh, described our relationship as uh, family adjacent. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I, I was worried about you is all. Um, I just reach up and like slap him twice on the chest and then go back out to the table. Yeah. Carrying some of the, the food with me. Mm -hmm. yeah, excellent. You, you can be at the table, uh, Strel, having joined Senna. And uh, Araxi, it's sort of up to you if you're hovering around or sitting with them. I feel like she's sort of staying within earshot, but like also is basically waiting on on their table, um, keeping keeping a closer eye on theirs. Like mm. they finish something, bring bring refilling all that. So when 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 Ona comes out with with a, a platter for the table, she's like, oh, let me let me get that, and tries to to take that to the table. Cheers. All right, you sent this snot-nosed kid to come get me again. Can you tell me what you His name's Elsie. You know me and teenagers, we don't get along well, okay? I, I, I don't know, actually. I've, I've heard rumors, but something well, about windows and... Needless to say, we don't get along well. Anyway, I'm here by the skin of my teeth. Hopefully we can actually get something done about my reputation. Yes. Your reputation. Yes, it has been besmirched, one could say. On the forums. <laughs> Strel the forums. forums. Yes. Someone has huh. stolen Strel's face, made it a mascot for evil. I don't know. Um, 
But yeah, we have to return Strel's good name back to her. Right, Strel? Absolutely. Uh, and as well as, you know, a good chunk of change to go along with it. Of course. <laughs> um, so, I don't know if any of the rest of you have heard of my brother's charity to connect to the common people. Um, but that is happening this weekend, Snack? Was it? Uh, no, it's it's actually still a few weeks out. Oh, two weeks out? Okay. Uh, it might be more than two. It's within the month. Okay. I'll, I'll get say, back to you. Okay, I'll say within the month. I didn't write down. And we need to start planning for the big heist, the big... This is our chance to get something a little bit for everyone. Shrell, her identity back. Winona, money, ordained ashes with this new person. Um, I think there's some more shit you need to be worried about with your brother. And whatever he's getting himself into. He th he's playing politics, and to be honest, it, it is quite scary because the idiots of the city might actually elect him. That would be probably the worst thing they could possibly do with who he's working with now. That is very true. Um... Listen, I... I'm down for a heist. I am absolutely here for stealing whatever from the shitty side of the Kavides. But... This is not the same as it was. The... <sighs> the Ordained Ashes are a far-reaching group, and your brother may have contracted them here, but that's... I don't know, 10% of their force? What? Stacy, Would Strel know about the Ordained Ashes? You would know that they... Uh, well, so w w what are you asking about? Are you asking um, what would you know about the group? Yeah, just like, what would she kind of know about the group? Like, would in, in her various circles, would she have, like, heard the dirt? Or mm. know that Winona was associated with them at all? Or mm. does she kind of just know that they exist? I think you can roll, because uh, you would move in adjacent circles. I'd like a history check. All right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Tell me about what you know about the Ordained Ashes. Um, that's a cool name. I've heard it a few times. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You at least know... Uh, that they work with that whole uh, CSC group in some capacity. Okay. So, <laughs> to put it simply for you, I used to run with them. The ship that I was on with Laz, we were... <laughs> We were fairly powerful, and when I eventually split off, I gained even more influence, but I never delved into the darker side of things. Drugs, weapons, valuables, relics. Who gives a shit about that? But there are dangerous people who will pay a, an incredible sum of money for dangerous magic, dangerous technology, and people. And there was a more shadowy sector of the Ordained Ashes 
that worked with that, which operated those kind of traits. And one of those people was Kamek. And this delightful individual, at the time, it was novel. At the time, it was almost unheard of for moving the volume of people that he was. It was... It was unspeakable. I... <laughs> I... I found where he was keeping them. I found what he was doing, and... He burned me. Because whatever influence I had, it was less than him. That guy is 500 years old. Who's gonna listen to some idiot when they have him? And now, obviously, he's worked his way to the top. And now the Ordained Ashes is almost exclusively running in these circles. And now your dear brother, Senna, is working with them. Before Kamek had approached my father at some point or another and had a business proposition for him that he turned down and so Ciel took opportunity where he could grab it, his measly little Kremlin hands. <laughs> It's no one's fault. He's a worm. He's vermin. Gets into everything. That he is. That he does. So let me get this straight. Um, aside from all of these lovely little family ties and tragic stories and all that rot, um, who are we going to kill or what am I going to steal? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Yep. Because this is not, this is not your standard heist. I'm telling you who you're up against now. This is not the, sorry, honey, but frankly, incompetent Kaviti family and their security forces. This is bigger. bigger. Yeah. I would have said bigger at the same time as Winona. Um, I, I don't mean to interrupt, um, just sorry if this is in, intruding, but, um, it, it, it sounds like you need um, all the help you can get with this, and, and I owe Mr. Lazanoff a lot, um, and, and, and I, I've been hearing that there are some really, really big things, uh, going on. Yeah, in the city, just things that could, well, endanger everyone. Um, uh, and I, if, if, if you need it, I'd, I'd like to help. I'll look at Roxy and I'll stare at her for a minute. And I trust everything she's saying, actually. And I'll just say thank you. Sweet of you to do this out of just the goodness of your heart, honestly. <laughs> Not everyone's like you, Strel. This is the moment, Strel, that uh, Sly the Cactus King takes two steps into the bar, sees your face, and turns around and runs. <laughs> uh, Sly is a knoll who you know. Uh, covered in brands. Um, also has worked with you once uh, in as a performer. Uh, he, he has a band. Um, and uh, it didn't go particularly well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said some things and you said some things, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and he is generally uninterested. Um, you don't go, you don't frequent the same uh, the same establishments anymore. Ever since, also, it's because he uh, now partially owns a club, so he doesn't really need to tour as much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's probably not a club that some of my circles hang out in either. It's probably really one. not. Yeah. <laughs> One for the more average uh, party goer. Yeah. Araxi, it is startling to see the person who you saw, um, you know, earlier today again, and especially such a strange reaction of them almost entering the tavern and then scarpering. Um, do, do, do any of you know who that is? I, I, I yeah, actually, earlier. give me one second, and Strell's gonna, like, bound over the table and, like, try to grab him by the ankle, get him to face plant down on the ground and drag him back in. Oh, um, roll acrobatics for me. Absolutely! <laughs> It'll be ah. my pleasure. That's more like it. Strell can roll like well it. sometimes. He it's graceful. Well sometimes. It's speedy. Um, you will absolutely... Uh, just based on his immediate reaction, catch up to him outside on the street. Um, yeah, Strel would have tried to like drag him in as soon as uh-huh. possible. She doesn't want to be outside for too long, just because of... he's super wiry. Um, and so you, you can you can definitely catch him and take hold of him. But he's like, "What? What are you doing? What, <laughs> what are you me? doing? Get your ass in here!" Why? I'm... He is trying to twist and turn uh, his way uh, away from you. Yeah, no, Strell's uh, gonna try and drag him. I don't have anything to do with you. You have everything to do with me. Why are you even over here? This is not your part of town. What? It's Clingsley. The whole place is mine. No, it's not, you I asshole. run this neighborhood. I'm gonna go outside while they're having this little scuffle. Yeah. And try to clear it up. Um, mm-hmm. Help them, you know, just... Oh, you tripped... Uh, you gotta get I will on you. Come on, go, go and grab Strel and um, Winona has withdrawn her rapier at this point and it's just kind of at her side Okay. and I'm just going to call her Strel and try to pull her back <laughs> she seemed a little out of pocket um, it's, it's not gonna be easy Strel is like ready to go toe to toe with this bastard I believe give you. me uh Give me athletics, okay. Strel. Yeah. Oh, Strel Diana as, dude. as her alt identity. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 24. Um, he this can't, like he can't get away from you. He's like, get your hands off me. Uh, he, what are you doing here? Come to your head. Come on, let's go inside and clear this up. It's all right. Yeah. So everyone, it, it, he's he's got a concussion. <laughs> come on. Yeah, come on. You, you managed to shepherd him back inside, yeah. and he's he is looking deeply uncomfortable. You know, he's got the pointed um, dog-like face of a knoll, sort of a hunched back. Um, his uh, fur, he looks like he keeps shaved very short, almost like prickly. Uh, and he's got this denim vest with a bunch of cool patches and stuff on it. Um, he does have like one line of hair, like spiked all the way from his head, like down his back. Um, could I get perception from Senna and Winona? Sure, of course. Winona, you've seen Strel um, put on disguises. Mm hmm turned into a pirate once um 18 for Winona 11 for Senna there um the thing that catches your eye is the matching brand um there is like a star blooming from inside a lotus flower and you know that Strel has that brand um on her chest and it is present in like three or four places in the like tapestry of designs that this knoll has um just a just a note but anyway uh you know look i'm a businessman respected in this community you cannot treat me this way Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. why are you even here excuse you you never you you've never come to this place before 
You don't know that. I maybe have. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, very convincing. Anaxi, uh, who's like kind of been creeping in the corner. Uh, uh, I'm trying to take it as far to the back as we possibly can. Yeah. 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 Strel has uh, no shame. I, uh, we know. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, Strel has zero shame. <laughs> uh, I didn't know. Uh, Axie says, I, I, uh, actually, I, I, th- I think I remember you. I, I, I did see you earlier today, though. Um, he jumps to notice that you're there. So what, the guy's an alcoholic? Big whoop. <laughs> Uh, alcoholic, gambler, you name it, this this little shit face has done it. Oh, you're really going to disparage my name, Strel? Oh, of course I am. Cocks his head and, and sort of squints his eyes at you like... Estralaria, you know I can tell them about Use you. Use that name around here. Well, maybe treat me with a little bit more courtesy if you don't want me to share a little story about your past. Oh, uh, your Alexi, voice. Alexi sidles up to Senna. Um, Senna, that that man that you said you thought might be, uh, what was it, like, uh, Pitt? Pitt, um, yes. He was with this, this person. He was. Yeah. He was. Yeah, it was the two of them who were up there. Um when we were going up to the lookout with uh, Mr. Lazanoth. You. And I'll look to the knoll. He sort of notices you for the first time. I'm having a conversation. Yeah, please excuse yeah, now us. I've, <laughs> now I'm having one. What were you doing with the redhead? Who's asking? I'm asking. He kind of looks you up and down. Can I, like, push him up against a wall? I'm really pissed off. And we had probably oh, yeah. been, like, shoved towards the back, so I definitely would, like, have pinned him up against the wall. Easy, easy. Don't you easy me. Now, look, clearly you're someone of importance, at least to... I'm not going to use Senna's name, but I am going to, like, gesture towards her, at least to her. And you've definitely pissed me off by being here. So you better start talking, okay? It's I'm gonna take so out my bold of you to use our training against me. I'm going to take out my dagger, and I'm going to walk closer to him, slowly. Yeah, you better stop talking. He looks I'm going to so judge so how I use my training. Look at how you use yours. At least I never took my friend's ability to walk away from them. Strell's gonna get like really somber, but like really like stoic for a second. Um, and then kind of, you know, look at the dagger and back at Senna and be like, tell her what she wants to hear. You're so lucky you got your friends here with you. I would mop the floor. <laughs> You would not. I would beat your ass in a heartbeat. I've done it before and I'll do it again. Both of you shut the hell up. Most of the tavern is watching you. (laughs) I'm going to try to take Strel and Homeboy and drag them into the kitchen. Fair enough. Assuming that everyone else is following, I'm not trying to I, interrupt no, Senna's no. line of questioning. I would, I would absolutely follow. I don't want to seem the quieter this is, the better for everyone. So, so I'm gonna try to pull them into the kitchen, and, and Shell can murder him after we get whatever. I want yeah, I think as long there. as you've got your knife yeah. on him, he's not going to. He's going to move very carefully and, and sort of follow your instructions. Oh, okay. Good old, like, Strel, like, I will let go as soon as we're in the kitchen. Uh-huh. And But this guy, I'm just going to take him like just above mm-hmm. the collarbones and just shove him against the wall. Strel will be complicit, but she is like on edge, just like mm-hmm. ready to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sly the Cactus King is... Um, respecting the fact that you have a weapon but um and he he is unarmed when you do push him against the wall he does something interesting with his weight where uh he seems like he's in control of the entire interaction and he kind of lets you move him but um 
just from that interaction, you can tell that he's a fighter. Yeah. Uh, so he, like, r- rushes ahead of them into the kitchen. Uh, Mr. Lazanoth, heads up. And then gets back <laughs> out to, like, kind of just go around the tables and and uh, make sure everyone's got a refill. Uh, yeah. Before we'll, heading, um, heading into the good, good Roxy, yeah. Give me uh, something. Are you trying to distract people? Would this be maybe performance to try and um, get the attention back on it's, you? It's let. No, it's not performance. It, what would it be? It's, uh, I mean, it might have been performance. I guess more persuasion. I, I, I don't think it, honestly, I don't think it matters. They're both made out of one. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, she she is definitely trying to be like like everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Like uh, maybe uh, maybe even deception actually. Sure. Uh, yeah. Let's just see how that goes. Yeah. Let's let's just do, do a straight charisma roll. Uh, looks like a thirteen. You know that's pretty good. Um, and and it would be better than sort of your average bar denizen's charisma. Um, so I think you sort of are able to command the attention away from things. A, to, to a pretty decent extent. Um, Laz moves to block the back door and just sort of stands there looking at all of you and, and you know, trying to catch your eyes, trusting that you know what you're doing, but also his eyes are asking questions. I has still I still have my rapier at my side. And... I'm just going to raise it up next to his head and say, now you're going to answer every single one of her questions. And then you're going to leave here alive, hopefully. I was going to say, hopefully. But I haven't made up my mind yet. You're not going to get out of here that easy. Senna. So, the redhead? What the Hit. fuck? Yeah. Pit. What Hit. were you and Pit up to? Mr. What was it? Sly. The Cactus Sly. King. Cact- the Cactus King. God, help me. He winks. Uh, he's my guest. He's your guest? At the abyss, which Strel, you know, is the name of his nightclub. What the fuck is the abyss? It's just some. You should come sometime. You'd fit right in. Of a place, it's really not worth anything. He looks around I, like. Would I? And I'll. Do you kick dare him talk to nuts. her? I'll you you're gonna nuts. kick him? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Roll an nuts. attack. Let's let's see how it goes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You go, doll. <laughs> yeah, that's... Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's like a, you know, a little bit of like a knoll bark happening. <laughs> Your friends are crazy, Strel. <laughs> I'm going to like lift him up because uh, he's probably like bend over and I'm, I'm going to lift him up and I'm going to say... Um, not as crazy as I am, but yeah, they have a bit of a spark to them, don't they? I was answering your questions. Answer them be better. <sighs> yeah. What? Remind me again. Something distracted me. I can't tell what it was. Oh, do you want me to jog your memory? The no. Abyss. You were talking about the abyss and pit and the abyss. I. He's staying there. They. Apparently, somebody needed, he needed a place to hide. Somebody's looking for him. He thinks they're trying to kill him. Who? Now, Cactus King. You're Santa Caviti, right? Yes, I am. Now, spit it out. You're brother why he thinks he's trying to kill him why would he think that since you said ask him I don't know he's paying me money to board him up 
and you've had no conversation whatsoever about, oh, if this person comes in looking for me, let well, me yeah, I mean, he told me to let him know. I, the, the other night, there were some folks from the security corporation, and I took him out on a little walk to sort of stay out of their way. And that's that's part of it. That's part of it. I mean, it, he... I, I, you, do you want me to take you to him? Yes, I would love that. Do you want to not kick me anymore? Yes, that could be arranged if you could be pleasant. I mean, but he he's paying me, so if, if I do, he'll stop, so could I you... I said, take me to him. I don't give a shit whether or not he's paying you. <laughs> oh. All right. He works for me. Pitt does? Yes, Pitt works for for me, so take me to him. He stands up and is like, well, I mean, Strel knows where my place is, but we can go. You're going to escort us. Yeah. Good. It would be best if we go under the cover of nightfall. Well, it's night out, so that's good. <laughs> Nobody asked you. She literally just said it would be best if we go under the cover of night. That's not a question, that's a statement. Touche. Uh -huh. I'm bored. Listen. Can we let him go now, please? No. He's, He's going not to be going anywhere. Just... We're going with him. He's going to be just as liable for this. Well, can I sh take you there? It's not in this kitchen. If you lead us anywhere that isn't the abyss, if there's a trap, if there's anything waiting for us that is not Mr. Pitt, I will personally rip your balls off and stick it down that stupid little throat. Do you understand? Yeah, roll intimidation with advantage, please. Okay. No one fucks with her family. And then, oh, sorry, let me roll again. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Okay, 16 That's good, yeah. Oh. Uh, you, he is cowed. And, um... There's, there's not gonna be. He, he really is hiding there. He, he doesn't see anybody. He's terrified. All right. I mean, when you show up, I assume he'll think you're killing him. I can't tell you how he's going to react, but he lives in the office at my club, so you won't have anywhere to go. I want you to get him into a room when we get there. A room he can't get out of. Do you understand? Like my you office? Understand? Y yes, any... I don't... Does your office have an, an escape hatch that I should know of? No, nope. it has a back door and a front door. Get him into a room that has no back door, just one entry path. I think between the two of us, we can be, we can keep him where he needs to be. Winona is going to put a hand on Senna's back. Look, please don't kick me in the balls for saying this. It's an honest suggestion. <laughs> he points at Winona and Senna. He's like, the two of you would get into the club immediately. Tell him that the Cactus King gave you permission and they'll let you back in the office area. And I could take this psychopath, and he points at uh, Strel, around the back door so that you come from both sides? That actually sounds like a pretty decent plan. All right. We 
can go two in the front, two in the back. Roxy, what are you doing? Roxy is kind of backed off to stand with Mr. Lazanoff. Um, and maybe they've had a little bit of, of like, mostly just kind of looking up at him to gauge his mm -hmm. reaction to, to what's going on. He looks deeply confused. Um, and as they're kind of making these plans, um, says, um, do you, do you think maybe I should, I should keep an eye on them? I mean, it sounds like they're going into maybe danger. I wouldn't want to put you, I mean, can you, he sort of like looks, sort of resizes you up again. He's like, you can take care of yourself, can't you? Um, uh, y y yes, sir. Uh, it's, I've, I've been doing that for a while now. He didn't strike me as a fighter is all. Um, it, it's, it's not my preferred route, but, um, sometimes it's necessary. Lowers his voice. He's like, can you keep Winona safe? Well, I can do my best, sir. Um, 20 minutes later, you're at the abyss. It is uh, east in, um, in Clingsley still. It is positioned near this broad uh, spiral staircase that actually penetrates the ceiling of Clingsley and uh, links it with um, shell top, the top side of the city. Um, it does have a large gate preventing people from uh, entering that community if they don't seem upper crust enough. But um, the vibe you get is that people from shell top come down to the abyss to slum it a little bit for lack of a better word. Um, the club is gross in several dimensions. Uh, it I is... I knew it. I knew it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, um, like, devil-themed in a not particularly tasteful way to wear, uh, like, servers and bartenders wear, like, fake wings and horns and, like, pointy tails. Yeah. Uh, and physically also not the cleanest place in the world. The one thing that is cool in, in some way about it is that it has a glass dance floor that looks down on the city from above. Um, again, uh, Winona, Sonny, you, you guys are able to make your way in through the club um it is sweaty and crowded and loud um there's a band people are dancing um people do try to walk up to you like almost immediately um but you're able to sort of with a glance turn them away oh man uh, i if anyone tried to get anywhere near senna i would give them a murderous glare yeah, I think that a um, a half elf woman at one point does sort of uh, walk up pretty confidently with a real big smile. Uh, Which one of us, me? To to Senna. Oh, okay. Hey, I, I don't think I've seen you around here before. <laughs> if you want to see anyone again, you'd step off. That's my girlfriend. Sorry. Okay, I wasn't trying to. She sleeps. Um, you are able to make your way through, like, 
an unlit metal door um, behind into the office section. It's an, it's a very dim hallway with three doors. Sly the Cactus King told you that it was the last door, and um, he is uh, able to time it up so that uh, all five of you, Sly included, sort of enter the room at about the same time. It's um, it is a carpeted office room with wood paneled walls. Uh, it has like framed concert posters, um, but like the ceiling has like this yellow tinge of cigarette smoke um, over years and years to it. And, and everything sort of has that stale smell. There's an ashtray on the desk. And then there's this sort of low, long green leather couch which has some of the stuffing poking out of it. Uh, and there is this very um, gaunt looking um, red headed man who is like clearly waking up as you guys enter the room. It, uh, and he just you're blinks. Disgusting. This place is awful. Thank you. You're not welcome. What exactly is the whole angle with the horns and the tails and. Are you asking me as the DM, or are you asking uh, Sly? Oh, I'm, asking, I'm asking Sly. <laughs> um, Someone has a fetish. He just smirks. Ah, oh, man. The clients appreciate it. It's an experience. You need to get a more interesting fetish. This one's working. Hmm. Is this cultural appropriation? I feel like it's cultural appropriation. <laughs> oh, it's, it, it pretty much is. Uh, Pitt is standing up now and backing against the wall. He's looking back and forth at you, and you can tell without any sort of role that he's eyeing whatever exit he can find. <laughs> Both of which I believe are covered, right? You're on, uh, yeah. So Araxi, um... Strell and Sly are at the back door, and uh, Winona and uh, why am I forgetting your character's name? Senna are uh, are at the front. Um, no pit. Mm. He looks over at Sly. You said, you said I'd be safe here. I'm not I... here to kill you. At least, well. As long as you don't piss me off. I, I don't want to piss you off. No, you don't. Good. He's visibly sweating. Um, and, uh, and is, is like, looks very pale, gaunt, unhealthy. So you're in hiding because... I mean, you guys are... Stop. There is no me. you guys. Well, are you not? What happened to get you into a situation where you think we would want to kill you? Because I killed the leader of the Kaviti family? You did what? Senna. You. Senna. You measly little skunk. He runs, um, just totally startled and spooked by that, right into you, uh, Strel. Yeah, and is like thrashing, gonna, trying to get away. I'm gonna put his ass on the floor. Uh, roll a, yeah, attack, unarmed strike, maybe? Mm -hmm. I'm walking over to him. And... Yeah, you're able to just... What, are you, like, putting him on the ground in a headlock type thing? Yeah, I'm basically gonna, like, trip him up and, like, keep him on the ground. Just, like, you know, hand to his chest. Um, just, like, stay down on the ground. As... Uh, I got a 16 on that hit. Mm. As, uh, as she does that and Senna is... 
totally rightly fuming. Um, Winona is just going to go up to her ear and say, make sure you get every bit of value out of this vermin before you end them. And I'll pull- He's looking at you, eyes wide. I'll pull his leg out from under Strel. And I'm going to step on him. Step on him where? On his neck. Nice. <laughs> Hit. Look. I... Please don't kill me. It depends on your answers, dear. What the fuck did you mean? I swear jar time. <laughs> Fine. What the deuces did you mean? <laughs> you killed my father. I assumed that was why you were here. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, Pitt. I know he's dead. But why did you kill him? Why? How? You? She, she asked me to, and I've never been able to tell her no. She gave me a, a magic, like a javelin thing. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. B. Um. Her name's Who? B. And then I'm gonna a B. Okay. Just B. B E A. Who is she? She's. I mean, to me, she's everything. She's. Um, Insight. Is he entranced? Is he? Yeah, go ahead and roll. Or uh, would it be Arcana? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Uh, so you're trying to like tell if he's like under a spell. Yeah, that yeah. could be Arcana or Insight. I think. Okay. I'm It'll tell you different it. things depending on what you roll. Okay. Um, you sense with a sixteen that he is um telling you the truth. Um, he seems terrified, but aware of um, of where he really is, at least, um, and, and thinks that you're going to kill him and is, is trying to, like, you see him darting around with his eyes and he's just trying to, you think he's trying to try some way to save his own life. Could I make the Ar Arcana check or? Sure. Okay. Yeah, you can, you, you can do both. Okay. Uh, with an eight, um, it doesn't. There's no evidence of any spell. I'd like to cast Thaumaturgy to make whatever Senna says just a bit louder and echo around his head. Just like yeah. resonate. Doable. Listen to me. You're going to tell me everything you can tell me about this bee woman. Who is she? What is she? Where is she? She's... She calls herself the... So, uh, to me, she's just the, the best person. I don't that care. I know. What you but you think. asked. I don't know how to describe her in any other way. She, some people are calling her the author of peace. Okay. She's from, um, and he glances and, and looks over at Araxi. He's like, she's like, like her from uh, the crease. The crease. She's Look like. Um, I. 
I don't know how to describe her. She's got auburn hair, blue eyes that are sort of make you think that there's a reason for everything and that what you do really matters. Uh, that's not what you're asking, is it? She's not tall. Uh, I keep your objective opinions out of this, please. Is she like my height? Her height? Close to I'm you. Five like one. Yeah, yeah. He's like a little taller than you. Not much. She's kind of um greenish. If that helps. What race is she? Creaseborn. Greenish skin tone, Creaseborn. Never met a Creaseborn. He looks Araxi. over at, at Aroxy again. Uh, Aroxy uh, still kind of curse curse. Oh, a little okay. bit. <laughs> so. Which maybe you would actually, you maybe, that may be 100% true growing up where you have that you wouldn't have met a Creaseborn no. and that you might not recognize one. Mm-mm. I, I just thought you were a, a, a weird orc. I mean, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Senna. Sorry. We've talked about this. I'm married. I... <laughs> You're not weird. I just didn't. Anyway. <sighs> Back to the steppy. Um, is going to kind of think through who she knows and, and what she knows about you know, other, uh, the crease and and mm. um, and this is something maybe I I, I, I don't know um, but Aroxy might uh, in terms of the variation in in how uh, things these these traits manifest if there's mm. like familial things uh, or if if there are regional sort of differences um, to try to figure out uh, if she can pinpoint in any way, mm. uh, kind of narrow down where or who um, this be. Yeah. Be. Do you want to roll something for that for me? Um, sure. I, I I would assume it's I I guess history. Yeah. And if you don't have proficiency in this, because you're thinking about your own life, you can add it. Okay. So if you just want to roll it, yeah. You do know um, that in the crease, um, families come from all different sorts of backgrounds in terms of um, the race that they were. And it sort of seems to be the product of that strange place that it makes them into one people. Um, But there are, as you say, um, things that you can sort of surmise by people's appearance in terms of like what their family is like. And there do seem to be differences from place to place. Um, this, the best you can really, um, know generally is that like, it wouldn't be weird for someone who looked like that to be from the area you just came from. The Clingsley. No, sorry. Uh, the area and the crease that you came from. Oh, I shouldn't say uh, just, like three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and also the blue eyes is also kind of like ringing that bell um, for, for Aroxy, at least. Uh, can I go? No, you can't go. I have more questions for you, Pitt. If I answer them, will you let me go? That depends on how, how cooperative you are. After ask, answering my questions, and if I need you for anything else. Do you understand? Good. Uh, Strauss, Sly is trying to leave. Yeah, he's not gonna. He's, like, he's, he's just not. What are you doing? I'm up, love. Um, I'm definitely. I mean, I'm. I'm gonna put him on his ass too. Why not? So you're getting up from pit. 
<laughs> just tackling Sly as he tries to sort of slink yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, no, because because uh, like Senna has has her foot uh-huh. on on his neck, and so That's I'm like, true. okay, he's good. Uh, now now our our boy Sly is gonna get put on his butt as well, uh, or not? <laughs> uh, <In the> seven. <laughs> yeah, he is going to actually. Um, as you sort of whiff with that, um, one, two, three, um, throw three really quick. Um, it's like kick, punch, punch, and the, you're able to back out of the way of the first one, and then he um, clocks you a good one. Make a um, Constitution saving throw for me. Mm. I'm not good at those. Okay, that's not awful. Uh, what's his DC? That's exactly what you needed. Um, Perfect. So he does he does um, sock you, but you're not like stunned by it. Okay. Um, but he does that, and he is going to uh, again try to sprint away. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get after him. Still, he's yeah, not getting away. You can roll an attack of opportunity to try and hold him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if I can, noticing the scuffle. Oh. I did good. I got a 24 on a nat 20. Yeah. Yeah. Nat 20 on an attack. Yeah. After after seeing him like try to use that stunning strike on me, I'm gonna be like, oh, uh, yeah, oh hell no, you can't do that to me. You Are know you exactly kidding? where he learned that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then so what do you do? So since since I got him, yeah. um, <laughs> twenty four. In case people aren't watching, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him again. I'm gonna I'm gonna flurry of blows it, and I'm gonna hit him again. I'm gonna like make sure he it's stays just a, down on the ground. an immediate beat down. Like oh, you tried to run. There's consequences. Mm-hmm. Do you, how many? You just roll however many attacks you get for the flurry, I guess. There's just uh, the, is it just one more? Yeah, it's, well, it's for however many key points I want to use. I'm only okay. going to use one right now. Yeah. Um, um, and, and and just do that. Yeah. I think, you know, uh, you do make contact. It's hard to tell if that really rocks in much. And I'm not going to, like, do initiative order or anything like that. But if uh, Araxi or um, and any of you guys, if you want to also respond, because you can see this happening clearly. It's just, like, out the... It's, like, a couple feet out the back door. Oh, Hmm. <laughs> well, I believe I would definitely stay with Senna. Um, but I would toss my coil of rope that I always have on me to, uh, to Senna, uh, sorry, to Strel. And then uh, I'd take out my rapier and um, I'm just going to spear Pitt's hand to the, to the floor. Yeah, do yeah. that. You wanna roll an attack? That's gonna be an advantage. Sure, I'd love to. He's restrained. If there was such a thing as super advantage, I mean, 14 is going to hit an unarmored dude on the ground, so you may absolutely <laughs> pin him. A he looks with like 14 damage. Yeah. Um, I know that you were aiming for his hand, so I mean, yeah. I'm not going to necessarily subtract 14 hit points. Yeah. He is essentially a butterfly in a collection. Hmm. Uh, and he screams and squirms and holds his hands. He's like, "You said I'm helping. I'm answering your questions. You said you were gonna kill me." Um, is this killing you? Stabbing you in your hand? It's ki- you <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm, it's killing. Uh, Araxi, did you have something as well, or are you Araxi sort of just standing by? He's completely ignoring what's happening with Sly, uh, and kind of gets gets down on her knees close to Pitt's head and. and uh, Leaning into the, when, when you when you talk to B, is it like you you hear a 
a bell, like a ringing in your head. His eyes go wide, and he says, Oh, you've been there then. She, she like, opens her mouth to start responding, and, and rocks back and looks up at, at Senna and Winona. I... Um... I can... I can guarantee you that, um... Pitt really couldn't say no to B, even if he wanted to. Intriguing. He may have been the hand that... that did it, um, Senna, but... the will was not his. I... I know I've just met Roxy. Um, I trust her. Um, I'm going to remove the dagger from his hand, which will hurt. <sighs> and I'll grab his oh, hand. Oh, I'm super bleeding. Yes, I, I know, Pitt. I'm sorry. No. Uh, Roxy will will touch the spot and and heal it with cure wounds. He's gonna do that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it, you know, you see that knit back together. Um, there's still a, a pretty noticeable, like, scar, and, and he still seems, seems like he thinks it hurts, whether it does or not. And, and he's, look, he's, and he, I guess he's still on his, just laying down because you're still stepping on his neck, right? Oh, no, I've let, I've let go since oh, okay. Roxy said that, yeah. He, um, very carefully looking at you, like, just sits, like, down on the ground, like he's sitting on his butt with his knees bent. And he's like, I, you. <laughs> Pitt, can, can you take us to meet B? No, not yet. How do we stop her from mind controlling Pitt? Um, she trusts her? that she, I meant more of, an item, an artifact, some something he can wear, something he can possess, nothing. As I could try I knocking know. him out. <laughs> See if that works. As far as I, I meant... know, there's nothing. Um, I... There was something like this happening a few weeks ago, and, um... It... <sighs> Maybe... I meant I wanted to try to see if she would use him again. And when she finds her control over him isn't working, then we'd strike, but... There is a snapping noise and a flash. Um, appearing in the front door, um, apparently having followed you in, there is um, a person wearing the same... Uh, sort of gang colors as Yelzy holding one of those um, flashbox things yeah. in his hand. Um, there's like a brief moment where they make eye contact with you and then they sprint back down the hallway. Did what I know what that meant? The, the, the light box would yep. get out? Oh no, it's a camera. I would like to run and tackle them because... Winona doesn't care. Winona just knows that some random dude came in and saw what the hell was going down and is now running away. Fair enough. Yeah. Would that, yeah. Camera, go... would that picture have also included Strel? It might have. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm, yeah. I'm Bolton. I'm going. Yeah, absolutely. So this um, person has a little bit of a head start. Everyone is, I'm guessing, sprinting after uh, him? Uh, or is someone gonna... staying with Pit or Sly? You all let me I'm, know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Strel's gonna stay with Sly, because she's still, like, engaged with him. I still told you the rope, to, too, like, so yeah. feel free to use that if you wish. Yeah. Um, she's not one for tagging people up. She doesn't take hostages like you do. But um, she's still, like, engaged with Sly, and she's gonna, like, in between, like, kicks and punches and flips, um, she'll be like, who is it? Who did you send after us? Uh, and just start screaming. Yeah, he's trying to, like, fight for his life. He's not necessarily answering you. Araxi? 
I mean, I yeah, made, yeah. I gave my word. I'm going after Winona. Okay. And um, then I'm, Senna. I'll stay, I'll stay here then. Um, if I see the two of them run okay. off. Okay. Sorry, so, it didn't. It didn't click <laughs> figuratively. That sure, sure, sure. Was taking a picture, I thought it was like. No, that's a fair. It's a relatively new invention. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. This is going to be you guys um, chasing after someone who has a little bit of a head start, who's fleeing through a uh, crowded club, and we're going to do another skills challenge. So yes. um, there is there is a rich environment here. Um, you know, we have the, the dance floor, the view beneath, there's a bar, there's tons of people crowding around. Um, there is like an, an upstairs balcony um, VIP section um, that you actually had to go through to get back to the office. So you watch um, this dude uh, basically having, you follow him out and you can tell that he is like picking himself up, having jumped down from the VIP balcony into the middle of the dance floor. So you're standing above him and let me know how you are going to catch up and run faster than this person. I am going to, I am just sprinting like my life depends on it. And when I get to the balcony of the VIP area, I am going to try to jump on top of the guy and I'm going to try to uh, bring my dagger down into his shoulder. Okay, what uh, skill do you want to use? Let's see. If I may, I would like to give myself advantage with my steady aim, if that would be allowed. And um, I would like to use acrobatics as my skill for this. Okay. Yeah, roll acrobatics, save the uh, steady aim is a great idea. Um, you're going to be sort of like either closing or losing distance based on skill checks, right? So if you do catch them, the steady aim idea is terrific. Um, okay. So go ahead. So it's rolling until I have three successes. So go, you were doing um, acrobatics. Yeah. Yeah. The the idea is sort of yeah. You suggest the different skills to roll, and it's it's almost like death saves. You're trying to get three successes before three failures. Got it. All right. What's the you tell me the, the DC? Sorry. Um, I'm gonna set. I, I'll write the DC down. Uh, cool. But I'm not necessarily gonna tell you. It's based on, like I said, at, in the um, the first one. It's like sort of the plausibility of what you're trying to do, and also how well you explain um, what you're doing. Cool. Um, how far so, is it to the ground from the balcony? uh 12 feet oh okay it's not that far yeah it's you know it's a one story essentially yeah maybe not even 12 maybe 10. so there's um, definitely like a lateral jump taking yeah, place yeah. here like you were when... essentially trying to gain ground by more acrobatically leaping over this exactly. than this dude did yeah yeah, yeah roll acrobatics cool. for sure all right let's go we got a oh god sorry i'm rolling with advantage so that's, that's fine 15. Yeah, um, you definitely gain ground on him. A 23. Oh, sorry, no, so it's just, it's a different skill every time. Oh! Yeah, so like as, sorry, I've done a, not the best job explaining, but the idea is, yeah, a sort of a number of different things that you guys are doing to catch up to this person. Got it. Um, and Araxi, if you have, have one that you'd like to suggest. Uh, yeah, I, 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 w I thought it might have been a longer distance I was going to, to toss ahead a, a feather fall um, but it seems like it's unnecessary um, so instead as she gets to the top of the balcony as well and sees this person fleeing uh, is going to uh, before she also jumps off uh, in pursuit is going to use um, the, the sort of the vantage point uh, that she has to cast uh, magic missile. Oh, yeah. To try to stagger him and and. Uh -huh. So you'll you'll one hundred percent hit this dude with a magic missile. Yes. Um, no questions there. Roll me a um. 
maybe maybe I could suggest that you do a um, perception to uh, sort of make the most of um, sure of sort of the the space that you're in to try to like not just hit him with magic missile but do it in a way that slows him down. Not passive. It, it could be uh, Arcana or uh, okay, or perception. Let's, uh, let's go with Arcana. Twelve. Okay. Um, yeah, you do uh, manage to make him stumble somewhat, but it doesn't seem to slow him down as much as you had hoped. Mm -hmm. um, Winona, do you have any ideas? Um, you're both sort of pushing through the crowd towards the front door. Um, this person is not large. They're sort of squirming underneath and in between people, not really able to push them out of the way much. Mm. I think I would like to, as I'm moving through the crowd... I would be taking my hands and tail and strategically tapping on the side of people, making a motion like I'm pulling out, pulling people's pockets. And oh. maybe in a couple instances, I am snagging a few gold here and there. Okay. But my point is that with everything I can, I'm getting everyone to turn the hell out of my way. So I have a clear line and I'm not having to bumble through everyone. And the skill yeah, I like I'd like that. to use for that is sleight of hand. Sleight of and hand absolutely tail. makes sense. Um, I will write down that number. Go ahead. Cool. Oh my God. <laughs> You have plus seven, you rolled a three. Yeah. So um, this backfires a little bit um, to the extent that like, people are sort of shouting and turning towards you as this happens um, from a, from in front of you, people you haven't even gotten to yet. And it's it sort of just like, uh, gets the crowd um, more agitated and more ready to sort of resist you as you're pushing through um but um as you i think um burst on like, you see them like sort of burst out past the bouncers onto the street um Aroxy, do you have any ideas of a skill you'd like to use here um yeah i'm gonna i'm i'm going to uh push sort of push oh uh, you know what no i'm going to pick up I'm gonna to try to to as I catch up to Winona, give her a boost forward by like tossing her. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, Do you know what skill you want to use? I mean, it has to be athletics. It has to be a strength check. Sure. Um, but I'm going to do it smart <laughs> with my armor. Uh, yeah. With and so um, that. I'm going to just roll it. Uh, it's going to be d20 plus two is what it ends up being. Yeah. Uh, dirty 20. Yeah, so almost despairing that things have been um, not working out with your idea of getting people's attention, Winona. You suddenly feel like hands on your back, a little stronger than you expected as you are sort of like pushed forward and bulldozed through the crowd I'll catch um, with a little bit more uh yeah um speed and power you guys can you know not too far behind this person burst out onto the street and um they look like they're making for the stairways up to shell top right I. How far away are they? Mm, 25 feet. Huh. Oh. Then. I would like to. I'm assuming everyone, like in terms of turns, you're essentially dashing. Yeah. yeah. But we're not really in turns exactly. So does that, are you telling me that I can't throw a dagger at his knee? Oh, no, you absolutely can. Okay. I would yeah, like an to attack is a skill check. I'm pretty sure, technically. I'm rolling with it. I could be wrong. I could I'd be like... wrong there. I would like to throw a dagger at his knee to okay. stop him. And I will be using my steady aim feet 
Okay, um, I'm gonna give his knee a um, you know, slightly different AC than just trying to hit him. <sighs> but go ahead. This is, by the way, you have two successes and two failures. So he he's almost starting to like just keep the distance, and and before long he's going to reach this um, stairway that has uh, like guards posted at it that don't look like they're moving to stop him. Twenty two. But it doesn't matter. You catch him in the back of the knee, and he goes skidding over the sort of cobblestone onto the ground, and you guys are on him immediately. Mm. Um, the guards don't look like they're necessarily intervening either. Um, I will go over and step on his back. Uh, Oxy immediately goes for the the technology in his possession. Yeah, you're able to pick it up, and you, you can see that um, it has already spit out like a small, um, apparently magical piece of paper that that has like an image of all of you looking very surprised. Um, Pitt sort of looking at the camera, startled. Um, Sly and Strell are rolling around on the ground in the background, I think. Um, And yeah, you you have that in your hand. I will. So I step on his back, reach back and pull the dagger. Mm -hmm. Uh, Not carefully from his knee. Mm. Ah. and I'm just going to lean down into his ear did we establish that it was a he I apologize for assuming it is okay and I'm just going to say who are you you notice him moving something in his mouth and then biting down (gasps) I'm shoving my fingers in his his mouth to try to get it out. What kind of a... Can I sleight of hand that? As you, like, roll him over to do that, um, it's it's like there's already, like, a foam happening. And um, out of his, like, inner pocket, there's this um, slip of paper with a symbol on it that looks like an eyeball, but it's, like, the letters O and A. Uh, and I think that's where we'll wrap it up for the day. I don't know. Does that seem like a good stopping point? It does. The ordained ashes as I stay in the dark without my camera because I can't get the flap no, open. No, it's not a good place to stop just because I'm mad. Let's just play D&D forever. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd be down with that, honestly. Just take <laughs> Guys, I, I could, I could, but... I could too, but also I have to be a responsible human being. <laughs> I'm, I'm conscious oh. of... Thanks. Winona <laughs> has now screamed and is stomping back towards the club without any explanation. Mm-hmm. But I, th- I suppose, if I may be so bold, the camera would see that piece of paper flutter onto the pavement with the symbol on it. Yeah. And I think maybe maybe we pan out um, sort of zooming in the direction that you're walking towards the sea um, past the abyss. Uh, z- sort of moving past the alley where Sly and Strell are still just kicking the shit out of each other. Um, until you, uh, you know, move out past the entirety of Klingsley's strange shipwrecked mass, um, the city below still sparkling with neon light, um, burning brighter than ever with the darkness of night around you. And, uh, yeah, I think that that's a good place because, uh, what, what is the date again? On October the 2nd, I believe, I'm Daybreak fine. City will return, starring um, much of the cast that we haven't been able to have with us tonight. Um, so, you know, I'm going to leave you on this cliffhanger for like a whole episode, maybe. <laughs> oh, my 
guys, if you would indulge me, I would love to uh, tell everybody um, who, who's watching us today, sort of who you are. Uh, could I get, you know, may, can we start perhaps, I'll look at my screen. We'll start with Winona with, with still gold. Could you tell <laughs> us about like what you do on the internet? I could. Hi, I am Goldie, AKA still gold, AKA Winona tonight. Um, and you can find me at twitch.tv slash still gold. I do art and games and role-playing things and, uh, talk way too much about D, &D. <laughs> um you can find me with a lot less hair um but uh and a lot worse language over on my channel and uh you can find me on instagram at gold still with two l's or on twitter with three because i can't come up with original usernames and yeah it's been an absolute pleasure returning to daybreak city and as Winona. Thank you so much, Snack. Appreciate you. Very happy to be able to have you again. <laughs> the twists and turns of Winona's past. Mm, it's all coming together. <laughs> Very uh, interesting. Dinsdale, thank you for being here with us. I love Aroxy a lot. Me too. I love her. Oh, I'm glad. I really, really like her too. I just trust her. Just. I'm like, okay, <laughs> whatever you say. She's, she's good, good people. Good. Yeah. And Spoiler, that's, she's that's the big bad all along. She's just good. It's oh, just yeah. Dense too, though. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Dents, whatever treat. you say. <laughs> oh. We're, uh, yeah. we're so mean and so violent, and Araxi is just like, oh, I know. I'll help, Here's guys. Strel just like ready to murder people, and Din and then oh. Araxi's just like, hi, hello. <laughs> It me. Uh, let's let's settle down. Let's talk about it. Maybe, maybe <laughs> less stabbing. Uh, yeah. so you do internet stuff. I I do some internet stuff. I have been known to internet, um, mm. mm -hmm. including here. It's been I've been away for a while, um, out of the country even. Uh, so it's good to be back and and jumping into not just streaming over on twitchtv dinsdale but also uh, over here on Daybreak City Nights. It's really nice to. To slip back into this, it's 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 a great thing you're putting together here, uh, LSP. Um, I'm very concerned, which I love. So thank you for uh, for putting this together. That sounds like success to me. Music to my ears. Uh, Ren, thank you Hi. for being Senna. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being like who could be Goldie's main bitch. Oh. <laughs> Friend. Oh wait, best my wife. Bitch. Main oh, bitch, best bitch. God. I also am the I'm the resident cur Miss Curse a lot. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am. Never Ast apologize. Astathon at me, added me once, maybe twice. About <laughs> hey, like chill, chill out. With the Honestly, <laughs> that's how we're planning to fund this channel. Is I'm just gonna tell stories that get you to curse, yeah. so uh -huh, that you uh -huh. like. I think all put money of us, in the swear jar. Dins, have had to pay the swear jar today. Yeah. Um, 50 subs later, here I am. Um, yeah, boy. <laughs> on every show, that's how I get cast on every show. <laughs> right. She's funding the whole thing. <laughs> going. Um, hey, my name is Ren. Um, you can check me out at, I don't ever really stream, but if I do stream, um, I'm at how do I spell my username again? Um, W-R-E-Y-N-N-E. -N -N -E. That's Ren. That's me. So, yeah, you can check me out there. Uh, I stream, like, a lot of shooters. Um, that's kind of my jam. And, oh. yeah, I I love this. I, I have so much fun. I love the people I play with. It's And then, you know, Snack, you're one of the best GMs I've had. I'm not trying to suck up. Like, literally, he's heard my horror stories of GMs, so... Mm. Um, yeah. Being nice to me will only invite more backstory trauma to be <laughs> folded in. What's oh, going on? <laughs> ERB no. sending you an edible arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what of you? Gosh. Goldie's I'll like, I'm, I'm a masochist. Damn. Give me that yeah. trauma. <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. I, uh... I really like it when you stream. We have kind of similar streaming schedules, yeah. aka not scheduled. Yeah, but not scheduled. Just anybody like who is on this show is somebody who I like 
I'm really stoked to see go live. Just for your consideration, if you're here. Uh, Stacy. Oh, hi. Uh, my name's Stacy the Linguist. If you couldn't tell, I'm a linguist. Uh, I do things on the internet, and mostly it's talking about the love of my life, i.e. the science of language. It's... It's weird, but hey, so am I. Um, I also get to hang out with Snacks and Ren um, on our little, on our own little thing in our own little oh, world. Yeah. We got a little combo Discord. We got a little combo Discord, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I, I stream when I can too because I've been having internet issues. Uh, but feel free to follow uh, to find me at twitchtv linguist. Um, I'm also on Instagram, but hey, I don't post all that much there, so whatever. Um, but yeah, that's that's my spiel. I'm a, I'm a little nerd bean who does D and D. You can laugh and learn. You can laugh yes. at and with Stacy. Yes. And also, there's learn also linguistics. far more like naughty jokes and bad language there. If you're your into first that emote thing. was like Stacy, whatever your number is, lewd. lewd. Stacy six yeah. lewd. It's <laughs> real. Laugh, Stacey learn, and lewd. It's in the chat. Yeah, laugh, learn, and lewd. That's that should be your. <laughs> laugh, learn, it's and like live, laugh. Stop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. laugh it's like gatekeep girl yeah. boss. Yeah. <laughs> I've been Local Snack Preferences. Thanks for joining me. It's been an honor to get to share this with all of you. Um, I uh, am always uh, grateful and surprised when people are like, you do a weird 80s crustacean fantasy tabletop RPG. And they're like, yeah, I'll come check it out. Um, local underscore snack underscore preferences, my Twitch channel. Uh, I very unscheduled, but when I'm live there, it's usually uh, illustration um, or games like uh, Hades and Elite Dangerous are kind of my faves. Uh, I give away Pokemon cards too. It's the whole thing. Uh, a couple people also who I would just want to share, um, and and I might. There, there are so many people who've helped put this together, but. Um, it wouldn't at all be what it is without um, Southpaw making that super awesome trailer that yes. got us all so Southpaw, stoked to come yes. back to the world. So good. Uh, so good. Lily, the GM, uh, was massively helpful in planning some things and helping me understand. Uh, I don't know some some, some cool ideas that I wouldn't have had. Uh, Dapper Dame made uh, what you're seeing around us, the uh, animated overlays and BRB screens. Astacon has done uh, the music and production behind the scenes today, and uh, and also does all the technicals. And then um, Thunder Porpoise Music uh, wrote this song and a lot of the other songs that are in the show and gave them to us for free. So good people to know. Um, Stay tuned. I believe that uh, perhaps on Twitter we'll have announcements about schedules for some of the things you've seen trailers for recently, like maybe Commander. Uh, and I think that that's all I have to say. If you wouldn't mind uh, joining us in sharing the excitement and positivity with another streamer, I think we're going to get a raid going. Yes. Um, but beyond that, I think the next time you'll see me in this strange outfit is on October 2nd, and I can't wait to see you then. Yeah. From the audience, I'll be watching. Or maybe I, I know won't. some of us might be lurking in the shadows. Mm. Indeed. Watching the chaos. Evil plans. Watching it all unfold before us. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Astacon is in charge of yeah. <laughs> Taking us away we're, from we're you and starting our race. Go yeah. ahead whenever, my friend. Thank you. Yeah. We're vibing. We're vibing. Yeah, we're we're vibing. Thank you.